The difficulty does not affect the story, so choose one you'll be comfortable with. Battles are more challenging. What is Persona? Is Persona turn-based? Or is it real-time? Helps me mental my hands hurt after trying to get the Platinums and Crash Bandicoot. It's because you were jacking off. Don't lie to me. I can see right through you. Guys, is it turn-based? Turn-based, I think. I can probably handle hard. It's turn-based. I can handle hard. I can handle hard in a turn-based game. I'm pretty good at turn-based games. I'll regret to say that, but I'm pretty good at turn-based games. Oh, ho, ho. The fuck is happening? Remake Coco looking pretty cute, not gonna lie. Exactly. God, are we playing Catherine all over again? Feels like it. Oh no, did I get the bad ending? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Moshi Moshi. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Bad ending just by pressing play? Listen, you don't know how bad my luck is. My name is Igor. Namaste. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Nice nose, bro. You look like the penguin from Batman. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Kind of just looks like a limo, TBH. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Guys, I don't remember signing anything. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, sure. My name's King Cock. Enter your last name? Oh. What do I go by? Do I hit him with the media? Oh, hey! Fake Monica, thanks for the Nani sticker, bro. I'm gonna stare at my screen until I see it pop up. Where is it? Where are you? Ah, there you are. Uh, let's hit him with the... They call me Mr. Media. Or wait. I should do... Wait, fuck. Um... E... D... I... A... And then first name. Media cock? Oh, I should make it something stupid. Yeah, you're right. Um, let's make it... Last name. Let's make it... Um, let's make it Shagwell. I've done that in the past. Yes. Sumeto Shagwell, they call me. Ha ha ha! Got him! Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Medium MILFs. Wait, my future? I haven't been there yet. What are you on about, Igor? Do you believe in fortune telling? I believe in big booty bitches and nothing more. Oh, God. Each reading is done with the same cards. <laughs> he do be Each shagging well, though. Is always different. Okay. 
<laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't the it? The fuck you on about? This guy's confusing me. Oh no, a card. 16? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to be canceled. I just hit 35k. The, the future beyond that is... All right, what's past the immediate? What's this one? I see a lobster. What's the lobster mean? The moon in the upright position. Right. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. What the fuck does that mean? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. This is such a shitty tutorial. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort. After which, you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I'm thoroughly confused. Guys, did we already destroy the world? My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Let me, hold on. Let's check something real quick. Test, 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 test. World? My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Let me, hold on. Let's check something real quick. Test, 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 test. No, my audio seems fine. Okay, sorry. I had to change it for a recording. I don't know if I was completely off base. Can I... Oh. Go on. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Yeah, who's the chick with the eyes? This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. I'm not a huge fan of this English voice acting. We shall attend to the details another time. Ah, but of course. Until then, farewell. This has been completely confusing and a waste of my time. I appreciate it, Igor. Oh! These cutscenes are great! Thank God I don't have an eye tracker. The refreshing taste of calorie magic. Yeah, I gotta get me some calorie and magic, dude. We're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is <laughs> first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Yo, clout! Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. I prefer Japanese voice and English text. Quiet down, yeah. Guys. I'm not done yet. I feel like not everybody wants to read on the stream, you know? I'm getting bad feelings about this dude with the carbon fiber collar. That fit goes crazy, though. Just about. On everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Hmm. Something's happening, but it's hard to tell what. What's on your mind, buddy? 
Wait, is that me? You didn't sign a contract, did you? What up, Sumeto? Playing some Fursona 4. What's your Fursona, Sumeto? I'd be a Japanese girl. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. I wonder where he is. Maybe Tokyo? Oh. My, my, the quality's dropped. Hey, over here. Huh? Hello there. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Thank you. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Of the Dojima family? Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. So my uncle. Uh, nice to meet you. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? Uh, I feel like there's a better way to say that, but okay. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> okay. Hello. True. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Maybe she can tell I'm a murderer. Ow! <laughs> Make me dab, you say. Ugh. Well then, let's get going. Yeah, what the fuck am I My doing car's here? car's over there. A car, you say? Oh! Hey. Unfriendly looking girl? Hold on. You drop this. Oh. That's not mine. No, it's yours. I saw you drop it. Yeah? Prove it. It's the note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. It seems you dropped it. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. Listen. I believe in a fair world. If you pick that up, I gotta pick you up. Is it working? Guys, how old is she? I haven't played this game. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Just remembering how nice Japan is. Yo, this music's funky as fuck. Bro, you almost ran the fuck over this dude. Can you go to the back? JC Scars, thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, the driver's seat is on this side. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. What if she's left-handed? I know. Jeez. Yeah, come on, Baka. Every character is 17 and under? Shit. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. What did you say? Hey, JC Scars, thanks for the subscription, homie. Welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Enjoy those fancy new emotes you got. Thank you. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. What if I'm doing my friends and hanging my friends? Speaking you know? Which, we're actually looking <laughs> Fill up my ass while right you're now. at it. <laughs> uh, oh. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Been waiting to catch you live. Haha, <laughs> usually too late where I am. I usually don't stream this early, uh, but work has me coming in four days a week now. So since I get home at like six, I figured I might as well start streaming at 6.30. Plus, A, um, I saw that Persona 4 was on Steam and I've never played a Persona game, so I'm playing it. 
and B, I actually got a message from an indie game developer this morning that sent me a Steam code for a game that comes out on Tuesday. So I don't know if it'll be great, but it's the first time a game developer sent me a code to play their game for free. So I figured I'd do that tomorrow. So yeah, I'll be streaming during the week now, probably. Nanako is looking at you. Yo, Nanako, what's up? Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. Oh, that's not good. Guys, what's happening? What's wrong? You okay? I just feel lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. Okay. Oh, God, I'm fast. Yo, this music, though. I have to drop the background music just a tiny bit because it gets loud in the while we're talking. But, yo, this is funky, dude. Oh, I can... Oh, hey there. Hello. Have we met before? What were you doing at the station? Oh, that one time. Nothing, I just went. I don't have anywhere to go. The girl falls silent. Uh, I met you just now. Uh, okay, it's just your imagination. Are all girls this quiet? What's this? A bookstore. It's fairly empty inside. Can I go in? Looks like I cannot. Fierce-looking man is single-mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. Yeah, he, he and whoever he's pounding sounds busy. Let's move on. Tofu. An old woman is tending the store. Interesting. Excuse me. Do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it. I thought it was leftovers. Nani? It wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Sibling dispute, huh? Shiroku store. Shopping district north. Well, while the world seems small, it sure is nice to listen to this music. Yeah, let's get out of here. During events, press backlog buttons to see the log and skip event buttons to skip it entirely. So that's start and... Uh, whatever the other button is. Back? Yeah, back, respectively. They're quiet until you make them scream, am I right, boys? Yeah, exactly. Consensually, of course. And of consensual age. I have to make that very clear, given that I'm playing this game eight years too late. All right. Let's have a toast. What about the butterfly? Eh, I'm hoping to restart my game 40 times to get the good beginning. Hey, look at these traditional. We all got some sushi, some... I'm drinking a yogurt. He's drinking a yoo-hoo, it looks like. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Over one per person. Yes, exactly. Well, it's just me and Nanako here. So it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Which one of the rooms can I jack off in? Arigato gozaimasta. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Yeah, lighten up, Nanako. Well, anyway. Let's see. Super Rufus 9762. Thanks for the follow. Great name, by the way. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Yeah, come on now. Dojima speaking. Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. So, where is it? Uh huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. 
Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. I'm perfectly capable of eating sushi and then passing out in the living room, thank you. Every room's the jack-off room if you're bold enough. Nanako, it's I don't know how Japan works. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. You can tell it's raining by the way there's raining sound effects. You can also tell he got in the car from the car sound effect. This game is so good. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. Hourly? With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. I don't know what you're waiting for me for. You find yourself alone with Nanako. Guys, what kind of game is this? You might want to strike up a conversation. Uh, what's dad do? He investigates stuff, like crime scenes. He's a crime investigator. My dad's a detective. Oh, so you know the word for it. Why'd you describe it like a child at first? Well, she is a child. And now for the local news. Uh. Who the fuck follows the, weatherly, the weather hourly for a day that hasn't happened yet? That's what I'm saying. City Council Secretary... Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. Ah, yes, I remember this from the beginning of the game. His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. See, this is why you gotta just get yourself a girl that's already annoying as shit. Because that way you're too scared to cheat. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. I understand doing that, but then why make a report about it if you're trying to keep it off the air, you know? This is boring. Yeah, you turned it on, dumbass. What are you telling me for? At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Interesting. Every day's great at your Juness. I used to do that shit too when I was a kid. My mom would always change the channel during infomercials on TV and I'd get so mad because I love the little jingles that they have. 1-800-765 at yours. It's my money and I need it now. You know what I mean? Aren't you going to eat? Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of freaked out by what you're watching on TV. Oh, never mind. No, I am going to eat. Cool. Uh, you can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Why isn't it just another blue butterfly? Can I sprint in here? I can. Look at my sprinting abilities, guys. Look at how hard I can sprint. Sprint, 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 sprint. Okay, I guess I should save. Oh, God. There's 72, 16 data points. Savey, savey. Nice. Dojima Residence. There seems to be an upstairs. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. You can just say it's my room, guys. We don't need to be so formal. You're tired from the long trip. You should rest. Uh, that makes sense. Do I have a bed? Futon. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's go to sleep. Advance the story, huh? The bottom of your jacket sure has a lot of physics just for it. Yep, that's how games are nowadays. You'll be living in this town for one year. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. School starts tomorrow? I just got here. Oh, guys. Guys. Dream sequence. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this level without my hydro pack. That's a Super Mario Sunshine reference. A thick fog? What's her name? All you can do now is proceed forward. Okay. Oh. I... Oh. 
Okay, I literally can't go anywhere else if I wanted to. Foggy, foggy. Interesting. The fog appears to be some sort of wall. A wall of fog, if you will. Oh, God! Do you seek the truth? Not really. What did you say? Super Rufus 9762 thanks for the Prime subscription, homie. Welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Hope you enjoy your stay. Enjoy those fancy new emotes. You hear someone's voice. I hope she's thick. Come on, please be hot, please be hot, please be hot. If it's the truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. I feel like we could have met in the middle, no? Oh! Oh, she kind of square, but I think I could get behind this. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? What other options do I have? Why is this even a prompt? I didn't think she'd open up for me so fast. Guys, this music's intense. So, you're the one pursuing me. Try all you like. What? Use your equipped weapon. Uh, yeah, let's rush him. <laughs> ha! Suck my four damage. Seems that you can see a little despite the fog. Um, do I have skills? How many special points do I have? I don't know. Let's hit him with the cleave. You've activated my FAP card. I see, indeed. That is very interesting information. Yo, what is this dude doing? I guess I guard now? But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Oh, man. The dude in the fog became fog. Now it's all fog. I'm just going to guard again. I feel like I'm going to get hit. Everyone sees what they want to. And the fog only deepens. Okay, I guess I try and attack him? <coughs> Missed. I can't say I'm surprised. There's actual horror in Persona Sumetor. You're just going to be a big baby and quit when it happens? Yes, probably. I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. Oh, no. All right, we've advanced a day. That's something. Breakfast ready. What, Nanako made breakfast? You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Arigato, you tiny person. God, that's a lot of toast. Who eats this much toast? Okay, let's eat. Did you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. That's about as much cooking as I can do. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. Makes sense. You're starting school today, right? Wait, you're just not going to address the fact that there's also sausages? If you made the egg and the bread and your dad can't make food, who the fuck made the sausages? My school's on the way, so let's go together. I'm not going anywhere till she tells me who made these sausages. School zone. Yo, I've got one of those fresh, clear umbrellas. Nice. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. Arigato. She bought the sausages? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nothing like store bought sausages. Both games rely on jump scares or quick transitions for most of their horror elements. That's exactly what fucks me up, so that's not good. Uh, hey, wait. Are we not going to address the fact that that dude next to me looks like me? That looked painful. You should leave him be. Well... I thought you weren't allowed within 300 yards of a school. You're thinking of Keemstar. You arrive at the main gates of Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? Will we ever know? Wait, everybody's dressed like me. What the fuck? Uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Moraoka. 
Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. <laughs> we get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Interesting frame rate right there. Oh, no, my frame's dying. Yeah, what the fuck's up with that? Why is my frame dying? Um, I have a fix for this, which is to switch from game capture to display capture. I'm pretty sure that will remedy it. Uh, so let me just do that right away. Get rid of game capture. Boom. Transition. This should fix it, hopefully. Throw my head. Actually, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. Hopefully, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some movement, see if this... Is the frame rate better? All right, we're back. Seems to be worse than before? Interesting. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, also have a fix for that. Don't worry. We're going to go back to game capture. Um, nope. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I got this. I got this. Everybody relax, relax. I don't know why you guys are freaking out. We got this. Transition. Game capture, and then when we get back into the menus, I'll switch it to enable VSync. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Oh no, is he also experiencing nightmares? What's with him? Who knows? Hey, Professor Mora Oka. All right, shut your traps. <laughs> I'm Kinshiro Mora Oka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. You guys seeing this dude's fucking teeth, bro? First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Long as I'm around. You students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Is he really telling us not to fuck? Are they allowed to do that? Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Hey, you're not a good use of my time either, Professor Moron. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. You calling me a loser? Your courage has increased. Hey! Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Cool. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. What's going on with the stream? It seems even Sumeto's 15 FPS. Yeah, I think it's because I disabled VSync in the game, which should have higher frame rates. But on a lot of games that are ported like this, it's actually better to keep the VSync on just to keep everything stable. So I think that's what the problem. WAP3, thanks for the follow, homie. You would better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. What? But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Just because they grow up doesn't mean it's okay to abuse them, you fucking psycho. Who jumps to that conclusion? Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Mr. Maruka goes on and on. Moru Excuse Oka, me, sorry. is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. That got dark quick. Oh, sorry. I'll brighten the screen in a second. I'm joking. That did get weird really fast, though. 
This guy makes a good first impression. Define good. He's the worst, huh? Yeah. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. True. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Like I give a fuck. My parents threw me here because they went overseas. What do they care? Then again, we're hey, all in the Hey, carrots, same boat. what's going on? Shut your traps. I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Oh, cool. Will you be able to fit in here? Probably not. I never have. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Oh. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. Interesting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Spicy. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Guys, something happened. Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. <gasps> fog! Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Guys, the fog clearly means something. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Knowledgeable student. Hold on. I'm going to take a quick second and lower the volume for my desktop because I feel like it's going to be a long time until I have access to the menus again. So let's drop the volume here, drop the volume here. And then in correspondence, I should also drop my microphone volume. Where are you? Test, test, test. Yeah, that's way too loud. Test, test, test. That's better. Cool. Chicka chicka. Let's move on. Oh, huh, yeah. You mean my Yumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Huh? Uh, hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. <gasps> yeah, I guess not. Interesting. How much longer is this going to take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Does this chick know something about the nightmares? Ah, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. What? Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. What? Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? Yuki, hey, what's going on? Heck yeah, best game. Well, Yuki exclusively plays horror games, so that does not make me feel good about the preceding game. What? Something actually happened? I'm telling you right now, if there's a single jump scare, I'm killing myself. Come on, let's go take a look. Twitch, that's a joke. Relax. Fucking deer. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Uh, not if you guys were down to come over. Why don't you come with us? Yeah. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Oh, yeah. You're the girl who was on my right before, and now you're in front of me. The real horror is trying to choose between the best girls. You, you've, you've calmed me down slightly, Yuki, but I, I'm not sure if this is going to last. Uh, you know, I sit next to you, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. How could I forget that short hair and pins? This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. No problem, girl with headband and stockings. 
Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. Sumeto, why am I attracted to this drawing of a female high schooler? Well, clearly you're either human or a degenerate. My vote is on both. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Yeah, go on. Check it out. I've got friends already. Who's this dude with the Beats headphones? Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. Miss Satanaka? This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. Is he holding a... And oh, he's holding a thing. I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Nani? Did you break See it? Ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Oh, holy fuck. What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Who cracks a DVD? What is this, 2008? Is Persona 4 the one with the Snow Lodge scene, or is that Persona 3? I, I haven't played. I, think I don't mine's know. Cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, are you all right? Hey, some men would pay great money for this experience. Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? What button do I press for them to take their tops off? I think you have to beat the game on hard for that. Yosuke got ham hands? Yeah, right? I mean, come on, man. Push the button in the middle. It's not that tough. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. It keeps saying that as if I have an option. The, the game just proceeds. I couldn't help the dude falling off the bike. I couldn't help this dude getting punched in the nads. Who can I interact with? You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Smooth. What? Who, who are you? Interesting. What's up with him? She is the champion of dick from? flattening. Is it 4 p.m. already? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. The kids at this school sure do whisper loud as fuck. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. Tap? Is that the uh, zero sugar water they were advertising earlier? No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? The Amagi challenge? Oh, is that her name? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine. Surprise, surprise, she didn't fall for those smooth words, huh? What did he want from me? Tap is bootleg tab. Hey, tab's not terrible. What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. I mean, obvious as it was, terrible, equally. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? What are you doing? Ghost Palacio, Stepro. thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Hope you enjoy this Dongarampa version that three. Was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. I know, right? Who addresses somebody by their last na first name? Last name? I don't know how it works. Yo, Yukiko-san, turn down another love lorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. Oh, this is the same dude. Oh wait, no. Same way last year. Is this the same dude who fell off his bike that broke the DVD? Or does he also own a bike? I'm sure lots of people have bikes. I'm just confused. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Man, this chick is S tier amongst the guys at the school, huh? Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Yes, that's him? Ah, You're okay. Just curious is all. Hey, I'm fine with any level of curiosity. Um... <sighs> I'm sorry for dragging you into this. No, please, drag anything on me anytime. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Yeah, the school does only have six kids. It's also the same person with the crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Like what? There really is nothing here, huh? I mean, as the camera cuts to the cornfield or rice paddy field, yeah, I would say That's there's not much. It nice, but there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. I mean, you don't need to show off the city, man. It's my house too for the next year. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. That oh wait. And there's the Amagi Inn. You mean that empty Yuki's radish farm cement? Yeah, exactly. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's 
just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Who would you plow so far, Sumeto Media? Uh, the girl that's in that soda commercial, because she seems to be the only one of age so far. But I'll, I'll update you as the game goes on. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Kawaii desunu? Uh, yeah, maybe best to keep quiet about that, huh? Whoa! Are you blushing? Shut up! <laughs> Not blushing. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Nobody tell him? Nobody tell me what? Does she turn out to be a guy? <gasps> Please tell me she turns out to be a guy. Okay, okay, Yuki best girl. Come on, stop it. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Neither one of those things are true. Your best friend doesn't seem to know a lot about you, Yukiko-san. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. You sound like someone who doesn't need a boyfriend. Jeez. Very confident. GA. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Only adult is the nurse lady from the devil arc. Kinda? Ah, oh, fuck, man. This game's gonna be a tough one. Hey, what's that? Wait, is this the accident scene? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? What? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Showed up? So when she says the kid was walking down the street, she means a kid just saw something walking down the street. I thought she meant a kid was going down the street and then got hit by a car. But now apparently a dead body was just hanging? Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Nani? When's the next historian collab? Cannot comment. Wait, this isn't our house, is it? Hey, what are you doing here? Did something happen? Well, you could say that. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? Oh, right. Yeah, he's a crime scene investigator. Of course he would be a <laughs> Logan Paul question mark. <laughs> I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. Yeah, I have nothing to do with the murders. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <laughs> Young detective? Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? Yeah, come on, man. You want to look at dead bodies or you want to sit in an office? Get your shit together. I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? I gotta admit, all this murder's kind of taken me out of the moon for high school romance. What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Which button do I press hey, to stab the detectives? Yukiko? I don't have any weapons Why yet. We'll find out. Why don't go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Our best to do what? Are girls always this vague? The two of them leave. You decide to head away from the crime scene. Great decision, game. Thank you for letting me make that for myself. Oh. Um, high school. Shopping district. Juna's department store. Flood plan. The Dojima residence. This music, dude. Okay, uh, let's head home. Speedy, speedy! Oh god, there's a car. Hello. Housewife and farming clothes, and it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm, and the police came around to question me. 
such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomatoes for dinner tonight, too. What now? Well, now you don't eat tomatoes, obviously. Goofus. It will become evening when you return home. Yeah, fuck it. I'm the type of dude who follows the rules. <sighs> Back to this nonsense. You enjoying your juice or whatever? I wonder if dad's not coming home again tonight. What a odd thing to say. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Oh, please do tell. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? Yeah, I would imagine. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old <gasps> announcer at the local television station. The announcer who was cheating on the what's-his-face? The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Have revealed? Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad was! Yeah, we know, Nanako. Jeez. <sighs> Stop interrupting. It'll be okay. Is that your sister or your stepsister? Uh, cousin. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. What? But it... Oh, he said near the river. I, I was imagining drowning in the river, but yeah, they did say she was hanging from something. Hanging from a television antenna and she was a TV announcer? Maybe the killer has a sense of humor? Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. What? Are the authorities stupid? I just put it together. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. Yeah, I was just trying to hang this rope from this TV antenna, and I don't know, my head fell into it. It was a homicide! A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Hey, uh, detective, should we, uh, maybe take down the body or something? She seems to have been hung from the antenna. Uh, no go, Tony. This fog's getting way too thick. We, we better just slow down the investigation. Fucking police, dude. Useless in every country. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness. Every day is customer appreciation day. Aha. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. That's a meme that I saw all over the Steam reviews for this game. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. That was every other comment. Every day's great at your Juness. Every, every day's, day's great, great at your Juness. I get it. I get it. Uh. Your Juness. Already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Your class must be extra stupid because it's literally six words. And maybe she's like six. Who knows? Nanako sings the song to herself over and over. Holy shit. It seems she's forgotten all about the scary story. Thank God. I don't know how the fuck I'd be comforting her otherwise. Uh, I guess we hit the old save point. Too? What's happening in this other... Oh, no, that's the outside. Sorry. Time to rest. Who's excited for a motherfucking jump scare? Doing step Norns, up. thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the meme stream dream team. Hope you enjoy your stay. God damn, Someone. dude, you suck. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Sumeto Shagwell. Yes, I am. And yes, I I'm do. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Hanamura. Nice to meet you, too. We're not going to acknowledge the bike. <laughs> Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right dangling a dead body over a roof like that that's just messed up i agree it's tasteless then again it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place hey, not without the right motives oh crap we're late you want to ride it's a little squeaky but it should be fine you're gonna kill both of us 
<laughs> Imagine I just game over right there. You decide to ride on his bike and die. <laughs> GG. <laughs> uh, shut up during class. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Nice. Guys, I'm so fucking knowledgeable right now. So, are you getting used to this place? Well, it's been 48 hours, but yeah, I say I'm pretty used to it. Not yet. Yeah, well, you just got here. What button do I press to stab the dead announcer lady? Get carrots, I gotta find a knife first. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. Explain. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? The dead lady soup? Yeah, I've heard of it. It's grilled steak, man. Oh. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us to- Us? This has turned very expensive very quickly. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. I feel like you could have just said, I have to go help at the inn and not mention your weight, but whatever. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. When do you romance Nanako? You do not. Please stop well, saying that. I should be on my way. Oh, well. We should get going, too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Is it really that serious? You said the steak was cheap. God, I can't believe I have to buy Chio some food. It's almost like a date. Ugh. This guy. Made it to the Juness. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh. They don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Ha. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Your place? Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Question? Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. Oh. So our entire family came out here. Interesting. Here. This is to welcome you to town. What is that, a drink? Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. What a sun sundre. Am I am I right, guys? Look at my vocab getting better. Drink has increased. No? Okay. Hello, what's going on, Pink Ghost? She is a girl of few interests. She likes games and beef. That's why she's everyone's best waifu. I can agree to that. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? Oh, so it's like a Walmart moving in, huh? Not much yourself? Eh, just hanging out, playing some Personas. A little bit worried when the horror kicks in, because I don't do well with horror. Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Saki-senpai? Sorry, be right back. Who's that? That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Interesting. I think she's working here part-time, though. That's weird. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. You're also sitting very far from the table. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh. Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? 
She's the one who bumped into the dead body? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Yeah, they call me Shagwell Sumetochan. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? Mm, explain. It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? Are you talking about what's-his-face? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Why did the English dub say senpai? Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Later. I guess there's no, like, American oh, what, equivalent senpai? to senpai. Or any... What are they called? Faunarisms? <laughs> Saki-senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store. And the son Honorifics, of yes, that's what I was thinking of. Chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Hey, what do you guys think about in my YouTube videos? If I had a character of me drawn like this with just sort of an animated mouth and I use that to commentate over like background footage just to switch it up. You know what I mean? That'd be kind of funny, right? Isn't daddy the American on a riff? I, I don't think that's true. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Amazing idea. Okay, I'll look into it. You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. I hate this. I hate this. We're literally going to have to switch and play something else. I'm going to get way too freaked out. And they say that person's your soulmate. Soulmate? My soulmate is the girl from The Ring? What? If you can find a good enough for artist for I it, my designer's literally in the useful. chat. What do you mean? How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Yeah, it literally sounds ridiculous. Let's hope it's not true. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Ha <laughs> ha! Try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? This is like the Japanese version of Bloody Mary, huh? Wow. I'm trying to remember the Sumetto, last please, horror stories are a part of high school? Not a part of my high school. My high school was spent browsing 4chan and not talking to women. There were no horror stories. Some creepypastas, that but that's it. You know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Chia can you know? do the moon Easter egg every run. Oh, ho, ho. It's not scary. It's pretty hilarious. Okay. Saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the midnight channel where one can see one soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. Maybe I should quit the game and just wait for Persona 5 to be ported, huh? That sounds like a better idea. My horror stories were my dick shaming in high school. Bro, this is literally night three. Does Nautico at her age literally just hang out at home alone and cook herself food? Did dad call? No. He always says he will. Bro, that's sad as fuck. Oh, he's home. Oh, thank God it's him and not someone else. Maybe the murderer finally found a knife. Fingers crossed. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Persona 5 also has horror elements? I just shouldn't play these games. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Foggy Yamanou's Inaba sounds like a cool band name. 
of a house in this isolated rural town. Isn't this the same story from yesterday? It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, Namatame. husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Hiragi. It's a follow-up report to the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamamo, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with a councilwoman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Mizuo Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to the lover's quarrel? I mean, that's my guess. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. How delicious was that background that you just drunk out of your invisible cup? Is that what it looks like? Ah, good old green screen, eh? Ah, so delicious. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw her? Oh, that's Could the girl. Yep, that's dead? exactly who did I thought. Her face? Could you tell she was dead? Could you see her face? <laughs> this fucking interviewer. Uh, um... The female student's face and voice are distinct, but you feel like you've seen her before somewhere. Yeah, she's the chick whose family owns the liquor store. This isn't even kind of... Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Kenoshi, Yosuke, Yosuke's senpai. I am a tragedy suck at this. that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. Yeah, fuck the news. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Hanging upside down? Hanging by her feet? So she wasn't hung? Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? <sighs> We'll be right back after these messages. What a weird interview. At Juness, Commentator is the killer. Day is <gasps> customer appreciation day. Hey! Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great, day's great at, at your, your Juness. Juness. I feel so much better after all that talk of murder. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <clears throat> oh, my man's is tapped. No. He seems to be asleep. That's my guess as well. Jeez. All right, guys. Quiz show is on TV. No, no, no. Where's the remote? Oh, maybe I have to look at the um, TV in my room. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of the Midnight Channel. You should check it out in your room. Yep. Fuck it. Renzo redeemed hydrate. I got you, buddy. Well, this is it. This is the part where I get spooked, and then we stop playing the game because I can't handle my heart rate. We excited? Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV. You know, you know what? You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take a second, and we're gonna lower the volume even more. We're gonna lower the volume even more. But Sumeto, it's not that scary, says the fucking Twitch chat. That's never on my side ever about anything. Whew, deep breaths. Okay. Are we going to watch a food stream afterward? We're never going to play this game again. That's the plan. Yes. Could Chie's story be true? Let's see. Sumeto, you a big baby? You're a tiny carrot, okay? You and me both. I look so much better in the cutscenes than I do in the game. Sumeto, just please, I'm a horror fanatic and this makes me sad inside. I'm the opposite of a horror fanatic. Sumeto, a triangle. <laughs> oh, wait, she kind of cute though. 
What's her name? I open the door? Oh no, the headaches! Put your hands inside the TV, do it, do it, do it! I don't know what button that is! Oh man, it's midnight! What could be happening? Why is my soulmate so eerie? He is the one who knocks? That show wasn't that good. Captain, end this shit. Jump into the TV. <gasps> Wait, he's doing it. Guys, you're spoiling the story. Oh, no. Are we going to locate all seven Dragon Balls? Ah, uh, you idiot. Sucked into the TV. Oh, no. Somebody up the stair? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. Uh, did I wake you up? No, I his soulmate is himself? Ooh. Well, good night. Yeah, thanks for nothing, Nanako. What just happened? You decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. <sighs> here I am getting all worked up and the jump scare's not even here yet. Head trauma? Hey, fuck you. Don't call me names. She forced herself under your umbrella. Force yourself wherever you want, baby girl. I'm here for it. <laughs> uh, I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. I've done that. Get sucked into the TV. Bomb on backfield one. By the way, did you see it? I did. Ah, do tell. But the person it showed... Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're going to be late for school. Uh, but there's going to be another incident with another person dying. Uh, um, it's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. I'm going to just go ahead and run the rest of the way. Um, you'll catch a cold. Right. Good point. If I catch a cold, that could spread and that'd suck for everyone. <laughs> I think I'll keep going with you. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, yeah. Ah, uh, so goofy. Yeah, we should tell... Oh my god. Wouldn't it be so fucking crazy if you held my hand right now? Wouldn't that be wild? Nah, 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 nah. Just kidding, just kidding. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, fuck. Wait, where's the button for it? Unless... <laughs> fucking hate my life so much. <sighs> Guys, what if, what if we shared an umbrella going to school, huh? What if, what if we shared an umbrella going to school? Nah, nah, nah. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Fuck it. Oh my god. I need a stream. I need a fucking Elgato stream button thing that I can just push. This is too much work. This isn't working. I gotta get myself a stream deck. Our transferee, Mr. Shagwell, please stand up. Yes, I'm Mr. Shagwell, the real Mr. Shagwell, the other Mr. Shagwells are just imitating, so won't the real Mr. Shagwell please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. What is the year before 1 AD called? Uh, before 1 AD, so AD is the year after death, so it would be one year before death. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. Okay, this doesn't really seem like world history. Your knowledge has increased. Hey, guys, I'm fucking five head out here, dude. What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Both freaky and ineffective. BC is before Christ. BC is before Christ. And AD is Anno Domini. Ah, oh, thank God Yuki understands shit. Like Anno Domini. Domini. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y yo. Um. <laughs> yeah, yo. Um. What, what the fuck kind of intro is that? Either be confident or don't, Yusuke. Yusuke. Uh, Yosuke. Sorry. But... I'm probably still saying it wrong, whatever. Well, 
Yesterday on TV, I, uh... Yesterday on TV? Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting sick you guys deciding to tell me later. Did you hear the rumor? The rumor. Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I mean, she literally said that. I wonder if that's why she looked so Don't bad. mean I. Ah, okay. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. The fuck does that mean? That was even more comp. You could have just said yes. Me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out? Today? Yeah, she's making a point of seeming way stressed out today. I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last? Night? Yes, please. Can we discuss this? Huh? Did your TVs also turn 3D? Tell me. Uh, well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. But okay, did she have short hair and a green tracksuit? Hold on. My soulmate's a girl. What's that supposed to mean? I'm going to run to the bathroom. Let me know if anybody gets this joke. Okay, I'm back. Does anybody get it? Nobody gets the joke? No, that's the intro from the anime Citrus, which is about a girl who moves to another school and then ends up falling in love with a girl who shares her room at her house. That's the... I thought that might be a little tough. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll let that one slide. That was a tough one. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform... And You're describing yourself. Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. Wait, what? I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? Why is my stream dying? Is it because I have OBS up again? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me uno momento here. I think just minimizing OBS should fix it. My favorite Yuri is Sakura Trick. I will check it out right after the stream. Not going to lie, I played a full straight 24 hours of this game yesterday. It came out yesterday, so I believe in you. I like to think Atlas re-released the game in Gay Pride Month because of Kanji. Mm, we'll see. The Ring of Flair, thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Hope you enjoy your stay. We don't have the same soulmate. You idiots are going to get murdered. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. Your ping is a thousand or my monitor is dying? No, my ping is a thousand and I don't know what's wrong with it. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. Nope, pretty sure my TV was trying to consume me, but thanks for, you know, just deflecting that. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. <laughs> Shut up, Chie. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Hey, just because flat screens are in doesn't mean you can't appreciate a nice old thick one. Am I right, chat? Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. 
My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Chie's voice. Chie's voice sounds weird. The the English voice acting definitely sounds a little subpar. I, I, I always feel like an elitist when I say that, but it, it feels off. Like, I've heard good English voice acting, and, and this feels a little bit off <laughs> the second I say that. We've got some You're my favorite thick-screen TV? Hey, thanks, AFP. I, I appreciate that. For you to fit into. <laughs> Fun fact, I've actually lost, like, I didn't realize this. I've lost 16 pounds since we've gone into quarantine because I've literally only been eating once a day, and I don't think that's healthy. Remember, chat, Chio School Road, if you haven't already. Yes, that's literally the best English voice acting I've heard in an anime has been Chio School Road. They don't believe you at all. Yeah, it's pretty disappointed. You decide to go to Junus with the others. <gasps> Where every day is Customer Appreciation Day? Guys, I'm excited. Chie's original actress quit. They had to replace her in every subsequent game. Oh, no. Wait, it's the same characters in every Persona game? I'm actually more of a fan of an OLED TV over just like a sizable, lesser quality TV. I feel like that might just be me, though. I'll take a 50-inch OLED over like a 75-inch whatever the fuck nine times out of ten. Canman35, thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the meme stream dream team. Hope you enjoyed Dongarampa. I don't know. Best Which English books? dub I can think of is Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, Yu Yu Hakusho did have a good English dub. I haven't seen it in 15 years, though. Every subsequent Persona 4 game, of which there are a million. Oh, that's right. This game originally was in 2008, and they didn't come out with Persona 5 until, like, two years ago, right? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. My favorite dub is Cromarty High School. That's the one you told me to check out after I told you that I liked Daily Life of High School Boys, right? That was the goofy one you told me to check out? I still haven't done it. So much me after Persona 4, a lot of Persona spin-off games came out that had Chie in it for one reason or another. Nope. Fun fact, Yusuke's voice actor also voiced Ben 10 in Ben 10 Alien Force. Interesting. Persona 5 was 2017. Ah, that's enough years. It's hilarious? Okay, adding it to the list. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. That's the single stupidest thing you could have ever seen. As somebody who has worked in an electronics department store before, you're sucking at this, Yusuke. Yosuke, Yosuke, guys, help me out here. So, Chie, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? A thick one. They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <laughs> yeah, here's a Game Boy Advance. I'm convinced there are less than a hundred English voice actors in the world. I mean, there's only like a hundred that do like every voice you can think of. Yosuke. Okay, I can do that. It's the newest model, just released this spring. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. Yeah. Motherfuckers are coming to the store and they'd be like, I need a cheap computer. And I'd be like, how about this one for $350? And they'd be like, I said cheap. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the computer was cheap. Not you. you got Moving on. Right? Come on, hook me up. Yusuke is the pronunciation. Yosuke. So, Yusuke. Okay, you got the guys. Is it just Yusuke, but spelt? You know I can't do that. Yusuke? Like, like fucking Yu Yu Hakusho? Yusuke? That's how it's pronounced? Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... Oh, no. With a TV this big, you might really be able to go inside. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, bruh. Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... Guys. Are you seeing it? Guys, are you seeing it? Something wrong, Yusuke? Yusuke. Yeah, they say it like Yu Yu Hakusho. Yusuke, yes. I think Yusuke's voice actor is also Joker from Batman Arkham games. I heard that Yusuke's voice actor is actually also Squidward's uh, Squidward Snail in that one episode of uh, SpongeBob. You should have shown them a $2,000 computer after that. After I worked there for three or four years, anytime somebody asked me for the cheapest computer we had, I would take them to like a $1,400 computer. And they'd be like, this isn't cheap at all. And I'd be like, oh, you meant cheap. And then I'd go to like a $900 one. And they'd be like, oh, I just want to look around. I'm like, oh, yeah, no problem. Go fuck off. Seriously. Like, what? 
I don't want to help you with your fucking nine-year-old's fucking... She broke her leap pad and now we want to get her a real computer. Go fuck yourself, okay? Stop bugging me. So use case voice actors everywhere? Yeah, basically. Joker was Mark Hamill in the Arkham game. Yeah, guys, how do you not know when it's Mark Hamill? That one you should be able to tell. Just sell him a Chromebook? Lord have mercy. We, we had one Chromebook that was $199 and it was made by HP. Every other Chromebook was like $299 and up because we carried like the nicer ones with the full HD screen and shit. And motherfuckers would ask for a nice Chromebook because they were like Chromebooks are cheaper or whatever. And I'd show them one for $300 bucks, and they'd still get mad at me. I thought Chromebooks were supposed to be $80 because I saw this $80 Chromebook by Asus that's only got a gig of RAM. Oh my God. I'm so happy I don't work in retail anymore, dude. I, I was probably three months away from decking somebody in the fucking throat, dude. You have no idea. Jesus Christ. And it's not, I'm not even like a good retail employee. I'm me just in a uniform. So they're like, oh, I need help with blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, guys, come on. You're doing no research. You're 45 years old buying a $300 thing with no research. Retail is hell on earth. Oh, God. One day I become a full-time YouTuber and you and me can just work full-time on making shitty anime ripoffs on YouTube. How's that sound? How's that sound, Ray? Just for the rest of our life, never have to deal with retail. That's my fucking dream right there. Anyway, are you guys diving into this TV with me or what? I need a party of three for this fight. It's actively happening. What are, what are you asking me? The, the, you know what this energy matches? You know what this... Oh, hold on. You know what this energy matches? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This, this right here. Same energy. Did you just come inside me? Oh, that's not loud enough. Hold on, wait. Hold on. Alex, what the fuck are you doing? Did you just come in your sister? <laughs> Tiffany's not on birth control. Lexi, do you have to shut the fuck up? <laughs> Same energy. Same energy. Oh my God, did you just come in your sister? Same energy out of Chia right here. Same fucking energy. Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. You should make a video about working at working. That no, I'd, I'd just be screaming for thirty minutes straight. I couldn't. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Magician's secret. Stick your fucking hand in the TV and find out, Yusuke. Or help me. God. Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. <laughs> oh, so this TV's been around town a bit, huh? All right, anyway, dive in. Oh, ho, ho! Do that. What are you doing? Yo, nobody told me this game had VOR. Oh, my God! There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean? What did th I don't understand how these guys don't understand what's happening. You can see me. Technovore. What do you mean, spaceship? Bro, stick your head in. Just come in with me. What's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Weak bladder? They decide to bring up this character trait now? Hour and a half into the game? Which button do I press to stick my wiener in the TV? I feel like you might want to stick your head in and see what's going on first. My man's Yusuke just runs away. Shit, customers, they're coming. Quick, get in the TV. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we going to do? This is, this is getting drawn out way too long. Guys, either come in with me or pull me out. Oh, but. What kind of Scooby-Doo nonsense is this? I'm loving this game so far, by the way. Yusuke is nothing but 200 hours of dick destruction. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Ow. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are you? Never again will Rolf leave his house keys in his pants pocket. I can't do Rolf's voice. I'm sorry. No, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? I'm kind of cute, not going to lie. Um... Scooby-Doo bullshit. <laughs> All right, what's going on? So, uh, we're still alive, right? I don't know if I ever was TBH. Persona 4 really is just a Scooby-Doo movie. Is this a dream? No, I'd say the pain I'm feeling right now is very real. True. R real? 
Yeah, you know, the opposite of a dream. You is cute. Hey, Persona 4 released a Scooby-Doo movie. Where are the Digimon? I'm looking for them, I promise. What now? No, stupid. Look around. Oh, we're on a stage of some sort. Is this a studio? Oh, this must be the last episode of a uh, uh, Zombieland saga. This is... Oh, this fog. Or is it smoke? No, it's fog, stupid. We're in a fog area. There's no place like this in Inaba. Is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Uh, maybe we do a performance, huh? Uh, you guys know Rocket Man? Let's look around. Huh? B but look, we need to get home and. Huh? The fuck are you guys looking at? Which way did we come in from? We came in from a TV. Just look for the back of a TV. Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could Did you play any other Persona games? I have never played a Persona game now. I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Oh fuck, I forgot to bring an escape rope. Okay, so how? I have a PP up. Maybe I can use that. Let's look for a way out. An exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Good. Good first step. Is there really a way out of here? I'm starting to think these guys are just saying shit. Persona 2 is my favorite. You get to be gay and fight Hitler. Get out somehow. Is that true? Do I get to do either of those things in Persona 4? Just use dig? Uh, I gotta find me a Digimon. If there's no exit okay, guys. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Enough dialogue. Let's go do something. Uh, okay. Looks like PewDiePie's been here. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Hey, girl, you so thick I can hardly see. Know what I mean? Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? How the fuck am I supposed to? Do you think I've been here before? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Seems there's no choice for now but to continue onward. <sighs> this game's so many cutscenes. I haven't had a single situation to jump into the fucking settings. We seem to have located a place. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? I can immediately see that there are pictures of a girl that have been slashed to death up in the top of the screen. You guys seeing this? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. The music's gone. I'm thinking there's going to be some sounds. Huh? What the? Oh. Interesting. It's a dead end. There's no exit. Well, I mean, there's an open door in front of us. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. I can't hold it any longer. Ooh, ooh, a bedroom. Perfect for you and Chie. Guys, I think we're still in the Chie kind of a bitch part of the Sundare storyline. She'll soften up later. My bladder's gonna explode. Just take a piss in the corner, dude. There's blood over there. Just go for it. Yosuke, what are you doing? Yosuke, not Yusuke. I knew Yusuke was spelt different. I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Yeah, it's not that serious. It's a dream. Anything can happen. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. Well, if you're really about to burst, I think you can go no matter what, but whatever. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Blame who you want, buddy. You're not the one whose pants are gonna... You're not gonna piss my pants, you know, so... Like I care. <laughs> that that zipper anyway, sound effect was not was it very room? good. Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. It's all that one fucking girl who got schmurdered. Or is it? No, this must be the actress who was the one who initiated the affair. Someone must really hate this person. 
Aha! Dude, this chair and rope. That kind of arrangement is never good. That's true. My buddy's an interior decorator, and he says chairs and ropes are so 2009. You don't do that shit anymore. It's tied in a noose. Man, Yosuke can't go if you're looking at his magnum dong. <laughs> a scarf. On. Let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. No, 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 no. We know that the... We know that one of the girl has a scarf, right? I made a joke about this. The girl has a scarf... Who has a scarf? The girl who works at the inn. The girl who works at the inn has a scarf that she wears around her head. Maybe it's a headband, given that it's on her head. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Have you jerked off to it, Yosuke? Tell me. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. That's not good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Well, now that you say that, game. All right, let's go back. <laughs> I'm seriously starting to feel sick. I can't say I'm not intrigued. Phew. We <laughs> finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? What are we looking at? There's something over there. Oh! Is that a ride on? Anybody got a anybody got a Super Bowl? Oh! What the fuck? Guys, what kind of Pokemon is this? What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? What? Who are we? Who, what are you? Like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Interesting. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. Who are you? What are you? I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. That's a bear? This is how Japan depicts bears? I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. Interesting. You live here? Bro, how am I supposed if to know I what kind of Digimon it is? Use your Digidex. Back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. I thought this was Persona, not Dongarampa. What's Persona? Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Chie, calm down with the sundere bit for just a bit, huh? You're gonna get us murdered. God damn it, you scared him. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? I think that's a dual master monster? Interesting. Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? Oh, TVs! What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Guess what the bear's name is? Is it Persona? Stop pushing! Oh! Thank God we made it back to Juness, where every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Did we make it back? No, it's four, but you were close. <laughs> All right, that was fucking weird. Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All 
ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Oh! Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. So is Misuzu the one who was murdered or the one who was cheating on the guy and the wife was the one who was murdered? She's been all over the news lately. No, wait. She's the wife and the TV host was the one who had an affair with her husband and she's the one who died, right? That's what's happening. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other There you day. go. Thank you, Chie, for finally being useful. Hey, so does that mean... That weird room we saw, could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Give me just a second here. Uh, yeah, obviously it's related to death. Fuck you on. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I, hold on, I gotta locate some Pepsi. Hold on. Found one. Thank God I keep these things on deck, huh? Otherwise I might need to get up. How sad would that be? I'm feeling a chill, too. A chill, you say? Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Hey, welcome home. You still feel sluggish, uh, but of course. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. Hmm? But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She discovered the body, right? Yeah, that's true. Ah, delicious to Pepsi. Be honest, yes, of course. We got a call from her family. She's disappeared. What? But how? We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Yeah, this town's weird as fuck, dude. Can I go home? Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Third day reporting on the same story. Can you believe these guys? Wait, his name is Dojima? Yeah, that's what I've been saying, but they don't say it Dojima like they do in Yakuza. They say Dojima. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Hmm. The Amagi Inn, it's that inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Probably. Oh, yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. That's a weird amount of information for them to give over the TV. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. Oh. I should book another trip there. Is going to a local, like, hotel, basically, considered a trip? Or maybe he means visiting the town. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. 
The rain has begun to subside. Finally. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Oh no. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. I, I feel like it'd definitely be ready by now. <laughs> Bless you. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. Haha! -ha! All right, time to save the game. I feel like I can probably overwrite the first one and then start going from there. Um, I guess we just continue advancing the story, huh? Coronavirus in Persona 4? Persona 4 predicted the coronavirus? No way. Oh, man. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. I'm glad Nanako's taking the time to explain everything that just happened. <laughs> Travis Scott predicted the coronavirus with sicko mode. <laughs> Didn't you say you want to change the V-Sync? The second it gives me actual playability, I can. But if I press pause here, it just takes me to the dialogue because it's been cutscenes for an hour. <laughs> oh. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? There's actually ways to get stuck in unbeatable areas in Persona 4 if you don't cycle enough saves. Keep that in mind. Okay. I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. There's at least another half hour of cutscenes. Well, hopefully the stream isn't too choppy. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Take it easy on the girl with the stockings. I like her stock. Well, they're not stockings. They're high socks. But you know what? I'll give it a pass. There seems to have been an incident. You decide to head to school. Another incident? How many incidents are going to happen before I even get to move around? First few hours are basically a visual novel. I don't mind. I just don't think the stream quality is very good because I disabled VSync like a dumbass. Of course not. What is that rumor for real? Oh shit, I could have done it when I was saving the game. I'm so stupid. Oh, what's wrong with me? Fuck. I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. Well, clearly she's busy murdering people. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Are you really wondering? Really? Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Do you still have to pee, my guy? Oh it's, oh, it's nothing. I just, you know, I fell off my bike this morning. <laughs> Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Uh Okay, we've we've got some characters. What are you doing, step bro? Zazui, thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the meme stream dream team. Hope you enjoy your stay. First, the principal has something to say. Namaste. Regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. Oh no. Oh, he's probably just gonna say that that other girl disappear disappeared. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of class three, has passed away. What? Passed away? How am I hearing about this first? Wouldn't what's his face? fucking have told me at dinner yesterday? Or did it happen this morning? 
Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. Oh, okay. I'm asking questions that get answered right away. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. Of course, the principal's just worried about how it reflects on the school. The Hacker Man, Seth thanks for the follow, Rob. homie. Welcome to the stream meme cream stream. Hope you enjoyed this Dongarampa gameplay. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? My guess is that she died and then somebody found her. <laughs> there are not 13 reasons why she died. <laughs> She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. <gasps> really? Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. Oh! The girl that I had a flash uh, premonition preview of? That wasn't the announcer girl. That was the fucking student. Oh, I thought it was the fucking announcer girl. No, she was hanging. Oh, what the fuck? It's got to be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. A poison? Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. Saki? On the Midnight Channel? <gasps> they said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? Th three spooky for me. Three spooky five me. Sounds like someone had a nightmare. Nightmare these nuts. It's real. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Hmm. The TV announcers are showing people and then people are dying. Not personally involved. It's easy to toss around theories when you're not personally involved, yeah. Hey, Yosuke. Did you guys check out the TV last night? Oh, fuck. I think I did. Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again. And, and? I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. No way. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then she disappeared from the screen. Oh, no. What? This is the weirdest episode of That's So Raven I've ever seen. You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Stop linking N hentai comics. Maybe. Just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, no. Hold on. Are you saying... People who appear on that TV... Die? Oh, my God. Guys, they're getting it together so fast. I can't say for sure. I can say for sure. I can say for sure. That's what's happening. Something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. Throwing people? Wait, throwing? Oh, the bear! Right, right, right. In that room with the posters on the Sumato's wall. just six numbers. Relax, Sumato. I'm just doing some do algebra homework. Dead. Okay, okay. Japanese goosebumps? I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? I said we all come to my house and we dive into my TV. You might be right. Your knowledge has so decreased. It's not just me, huh? <laughs> if there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. 
That would explain the posters in that room. It would for the girl who's already died. Maybe there's other rooms with other girls? Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with senpai. Too. Absolutely, I say we do that. Yosuke, don't Shut up, Chie! Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. Tommy BYM, thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the cream, uh, uh... I hope you enjoy your stay. Don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Exactly. Police are useless. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. Ah, oh, man. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Facts. Yosuke... After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Tried to get into my TV once too, but all it gave me was brain dust. <laughs> uh, Muda needs to get on the Midnight Channel. I love how games and media have been have been dunking on police since the beginning of time. Yep, that's how it'd be. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Juness? The place where every day is Customer Appreciation Day? to understand how he feels. Also, this town sucks. I mean, what else are you going to be doing, Chie? Let's get it. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. That's okay. I've got my safety bucket. What should we do? Yeah, go with Yusuke. Let's get it. Yosuke. You serious? Yes, bitch. The fuck? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Don't say it like it was your idea. You asked me and I said yes. When are you planning on doing another virus investigation? I think it's my favorite series on your channel. Is that a thing I do? Would you like to save your prog- Oh, man. Are we already getting into a boss fight? Okay. Let's overwrite file two and then we'll save uh, vertically from here. Wait a fucking second. What if you set the VCR to record before you jump in? Do you back up a copy of yourself? I don't know what you're saying. Friday, Thursday. What? Did I not save? Yes. Oh, fuck. I oversaved both. Shit. Okay, GG. We ruined it. Oh. Interesting. Uh, what if a guy just showed police that you can enter TVs and then let the cops do it? No, 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 no. You don't understand how these stories work, Carrots. The second we try and get into the TV with someone watching, it's not going to happen. We came to stop you, idiot. Save, don't save every day because you might fuck yourself over. Yeah, I'm going to save on the next files from now on. I, I fucked up I right really there. Do this. It's, too it's a thing some ordinary gamers do. I know. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. They jump through the TV, right? Yeah, man. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend. Is this the Last of Us too? Yeah, I'm playing the leaks. That's true, but. What about you? Could you just walk away? You voice your concern over Chie coming along. Your understanding has increased. Hey, we got some understanding. Yeah, it'll be just you. And Wait, me. no, fuck. We're going in with a party of two. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? I want you to use this rope, Chie. We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. Nice! I get a golf club. And three medicine? Oh, it's battle time, baby. All right, fuck all this talk. Let's get it. Hey, I said wait! Hey, shut up. No safety words when you're with me, baby. It's time to go in dry. I'm sure nobody's going to question whatever she's doing. Uh, 
Uh. See? I knew this wasn't going to work. Who are you talking to? Now what? You dive in with us. Do it. Nah, you just sit outside the TV. Useless. Good job, Chie. So sick of this girl. All right, we may... Oh, I don't have my golf club either. Is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. That's one way to look at it. You guys, hey, what's going on, Tyler? Why'd you come back? Hey, Bear. Arigato gozaimasta. Thank you for asking. I get it. You're the ones behind this. Incorrect. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Why are you so mean to the Wait, bear? I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. That's a weird line of thinking. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. That was the gayest roar I've ever heard in my life. I'm not intimidated at all. If anything, I'm kind of turned on. Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here, does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Well, wait a second. Did that... Someone throw those two in here? Wait, you're on to something here, Yosuke. Hey, what do you think? I think you're right. That must be it. Yeah, I agree. You agree with the thing that you just said? Shocking! Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? Clearly to hang out with you, you fuzzy idiot. It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. We know that's not true. You let us out last time. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Maybe I should stop screaming and just let the story progress. Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... He says, holding a ripped rope. What? Hey. You better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. It doesn't work that way. See? So it is you guys. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey. You better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Hmm. Sounds like murder. This isn't near. It is not. It's Dongarampa. I get it. Huh? Well, if you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprit. All right, he's letting his guard down. Good. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. I'm pretty convinced that the bear is in a bear costume, given the zipper going all the way around his neck. Is something being filmed here? Hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? What weird, weird show? Weird show? Filmed? Uh, I I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. What? How do you not understand? You're on a stage! This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. 
always been like this? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. What? Don't kink shame the bear. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. What's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Wait a second. Oh. Whoa. Huh. I guess I'm wrong. What the hell are you? It's empty inside. Posture check? My posture's checked, bro. What do you mean? Bro, put his head back on. This is weird. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprit. Nice. All we had to do was rip his head off. My posture is checked. But... I want you to oh, find God, my shoulder hurts, though. Did all this. You have to stop Listen, it. I'm down. Anything that gets you on our team, you're the one who knows how to open up these doors. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. Everybody knows how bears hate messes. And then... And then... I... <laughs> oh, good job, dumbass. You made him cry. Crying for all of a sudden. Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The bear seems serious. <sighs> hey, what should we do? The fuck you mean, what should we do? You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? Ah, yes, that's right. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Hmm. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was that contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving this case be a part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Yes, of course. I promise. Thank you. Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. Practically holding a gun. You ripped his head off. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Sumeto Shagwell. You got a name? Teddy. Huh. Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. Hmm? The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? Maybe we can go there, and then we can exit a TV from there, and then we can see where she got thrown in. I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, guys, I'm excited. I do have to run to the bathroom, though, so hold your excitement. Hold on, BRB. I'm back. I'm back and we're doing it. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Oh no, do we have to wear fursuits? Oh, glasses. Interesting. What are these glasses for? Hey, stop linking 155375, all right? This shit's gross. Fast piss gang. Fast piss gang. 
Your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Oh, no. Whoa. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. He says, with there still being fog just 10 feet away. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. That's appreciated, actually. Thank you. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Try touching Teddy? Try pushing Teddy? Try hitting Teddy? I guess I'll try touching Teddy. This is pathetic. Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. They put their gunners on. Serious gamers only. Yes, sir. I knew better. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? World star. <laughs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. Wait! What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. Yeah, except it's got a PewDiePie sky to it. What's going on here? Teddy exactly like you. Shut up! Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled. I, I don't know what to do. Ooh woo senpai ooh woo uh, that's what I'm way, saying Kareem Why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean um, I can't stand too close, you know. I get in your way. I'm getting sick of this Teddy dude. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Oh, the liquor store, of course. I knew uh -oh. it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second. They're here. Oh, no, not the shadow goons. What? Shadows. I had a feeling they were going to attack. Teddy's name in the Japanese version is Kuma? What's Kuma mean? Oh! Cutscene time. Uh... Moshi Moshi. Shadow-kun. Freaky though you may be, I do like your aesthetic. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Kuma means bear? Ah, that makes sense. Kuma, my face. Open your eyes. <gasps> I have a spell. Stupid shadow beings, you've activated my trap card. Use it, Sumeto. So. Persona? Hey. Nice. I'm in all white now. Or maybe it's just the light. No, it's just the light. Never mind. Yo. Nice. Yo, I'm digging this. Ah, you fools, you don't know what you've struck. A 
Exodia. Obliterate! Oh, fuck. Fight scene. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Is it the giant tail or the mask on the back? Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it will be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weaknesses does more damage. If you knock all enemies down, you'll get a one more attack. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get one more attacks to get the advantage in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weaknesses, they'll get extra attacks too. So always keep your enemy's weaknesses and your own in mind. Okay, better use a skill. Hit him with the... Uh, Zeo! Uh, let's hit this one. Ha! I got him with the weakness! I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. So I can now use Analyze. It's weak to electricity! Go for it! Ah, of course! Better hit it with the Electro Boom. Or wait, no. The Electro Boom. Ha! Idiot! Now I get one more? Do I have an ability that hits everybody? No, that's a heal. Cleave only hits one. What about my normal attack? All these attacks only hit one. All right, I guess I'll just try a normal attack. Nice. Deleted it. This probably does enough to kill it, right? No, it didn't. Fuck, I should have used my electricity. It's okay. You're never gonna stop me. Deleted this guy. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Amazing, sensei. Your HP and SP have been saved. You're now able to create personas up to level two. Nice. Achievement unlocked. The other self. Sumato Shagwell has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome his life's hardships. The persona is Anagi. Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? I fucking hope so. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling sensei. Very nice, you, chir -chan. Thank you. Sensei? Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Yes. And that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei <laughs> and then don't show me any respect? Just knocks the dude on his head casually. Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. I think we got this. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Oh, clearly she got pushed into a TV. What do you mean? Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Oh, I wish Juness would go under. <gasps> I wish Juness would go under. It's all because of that store. The liquor store people must be upset that Juness came. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my. How could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father, to have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. 
fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Oh, time to do something. Something's doing. Ah, the liquor store, of course. Damn it, not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? Sounds like it. You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. Guys, this is getting spicy. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... Photos? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? Cut up? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? Oh, no. I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? Tell him what? That he was a real pain in the ass. So sad. So sad. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Pain in the ass. Yosuke, Yosuke, don't listen to her. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's... So sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo -hoo. Yosuke question mark? It must not be. Actually, I'm oh. the one thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Guys, it's Shadow Yosuke. Uh huh? Two Yosukes? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? This Yosuke doesn't have glasses on. Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. That's right. He's only been out here six months. Maybe he likes the city more. Nani? What are you saying? Th that's not true. I. Oh fuck! I keep forgetting I have to skip the fucking dialogues. You put on a good show of being carefree and. Happy go lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. I mean, aren't we all terrified of being alone? That's the only reason I make YouTube videos. The more the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. This dude's literally describing my life. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. I mean, we figured that much out. You just came because you thought it sounded Posture like check. Time. I'm checked, dude. What else is there to do out in this shithole? I'm postured. So postured. A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. Sumetto Media, how would you fight yourself to the death? I would suck my own dick. That's how you immobilize Sumetto, if you were ever wondering. That's not true. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I 
I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Oh, there goes the one swear we get on this PG-13 game. What? I'm not you anymore, see? What does that even mean? Another shadow bitch? I'm glad to know your weakness is dome type. Yeah, exactly. Oh, whoa, that's a sizable enemy. Okay. All right. I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Listen, Shadow Yosuke, you look like an even bigger bitch than I am. What? He knocked me down? And he gets a plus 1 for hitting me with a weakness? This. this one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weakness and status ailments, attacks can be blocked. If it looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. What are you doing, Step Chilling with Tupac and Kuba. Thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Hope you enjoy Yakuza 3. Uh, but be careful for it will leave you in the defensive stance after being hit once. So I guess I guard. Six damage. Okay. I should use a spell. Let's try hitting it with a cleave. What are you doing? Crabbed. Thanks for the follow, homie. Power charge. Oh, no. That means he's going to attack probably. Better guard. Damn, he hit the fuck out of me, dude. Oh, wait. I can use my persona? No, I can't. Let's try Zeo. Maybe he's weak to lightning again. He is weak to lightning again. Hit him with another Zeo. It's not doing a lot of damage, though. Guard. Oh, he guarded. Fuck. It's guarding its weak point. Okay, let's try um, healing myself. Defense up. Nice. Shit. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, no, he gets a one more because he knocked me down. Fuck, that's not good. If I guard, I die. I have medicine. Show info. Restores 100 HP. Restores 10 SP. <gasps> Medicine. Yes, of course. Heal. 100 is so much. What the fuck? 11 damage, you pathetic bitch. Eat my Zeo. Knocked him down. Hit it with another Zeo. Guarding. Okay, guarding. Huh, that's it. Boring. Okay. Oh, that I really reduces the damage. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to use a fucking item to give me more SP in a minute. One more. Another Zeo. Persona. Power charge. It's going to attack. Hit it Defend with the guard. God, that's a lot of damage, dude. More Zeos. I can hit it with two more before I need to use an item. Maybe I should just take the time to use the item now. While he's knocked down. That didn't heal a lot of SP. Guarding. 
Guard. You're getting to be a real pain. Fool. Zeo. I need stronger electric attacks, dude. Shit. Okay, let's use another medicine. Another 100 HP. Guarding. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. Guard. Nice. Okay, use Zeo. And then let's use uh, Soul Drop again. Hopefully he guards like he did last time. No, he's power charging. Oh, wait, I can block a power charge. Good. It's going to attack. Guard. Defend yourself. If the enemy is knocked down, it's best to save the SP to use the spell to knock it down again when it gets back up. Ah, yes, of course. 19. So if I just do a normal attack, does it hit for... Oh, it still hits for 19. Oh, yeah, I should totally be saving my SP. Guard. Guard. What a freaking pain in the ass. Get out of my Fool! Only doing nine damage. Zio! 18. Get out of my face, fool! I played that as well as I could have expected. 3,000 yen? Nice! Nice. Izanagi has leveled up. MA has increased by one. I don't know what MA is. EN has increased. Oh, mana, energy, Lou. I don't know what those are. Stamina, mana, uh, stamina, mana, energy. I guess I'll figure it out later. I, I, Yosuke, are you okay? I think he did great. 3,000 yen is $30. I know. Yeah. Happened. You, Jordan, not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Everyone's the same inside. Is that supposed to be comforting? Oh. Damn it. it. Hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. So Metal Media, you're actually my favorite Twitch streamer? Hey, thanks, man. You have a terrible taste in Twitch streamers. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it. All of this is me. Don't tell me we're really going to defeat this dude with the power of understanding. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Oh. Cool outfit, dude. What are you doing, step bro? Core cod irreflex. Thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the meme stream dream team. This is my persona. Guys, that's the name of the game. Strength, magic, agility, endurance, and you luck. Ah, okay. Voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass. Huh? I wouldn't overthink it, Yosuke. She's dead now. What a way to find out. Hey, I have Wi-Fi. Thanks for the follow, homie. Glad to hear you have Wi-Fi. Welcome to Dongarampa V2. Love your chill style. Thanks. Hey, thanks, man. I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. A patty is a patty. That's what they say. I can't do Mr. Krabs' voice. attacked by her other self here? 
Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Wait, I still don't completely understand. People's anger and frustrations inside them have been leading to deaths? This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. So what does defeating these shadows do for us in the real world now? Has got squeaky Nikes on. Hey Teddy, you said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared what are after you the fog. Doing Sniper Space, thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the meme stream dream team. Welcome to Yakuza 4. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Oh, no. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But... Oh, I... Oh. Confusing. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. We were stuck here all alone. One could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted. But they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous. But we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? We won't know unless we try. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Hey man, been watching you for a while, but just recently dove headfirst in your podcast, and I gotta say I'm a huge fan of yours. Keep up the good work. Hey, thanks, Sniper Space. Appreciate that, man. Always like the kind words in Twitch chat. Means a lot, dude. Is this Shinmu 4? No, 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 no. You're misunderstanding. This is Dragon Quest Reborn. Part 3. Um, can I ask something to... If you explain why you're hollow, yes. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Yeah, what the fuck are you? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but... I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? What, for like a date? We made a promise. You'll keep your word? Morgana, is that you? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Teddy, not exactly okay, the time for I'll an existential nightmare, right? But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time so we can meet up. Dude. The TV at June's. Or Juness, sorry. You could come in from somewhere else, 
But then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Why you gotta say it like that? Yeah, got it. Yes. Well, pretty much. All right, so we don't dive into TVs anywhere other than this one at Junus. Gotcha. All right, can you show us the way out? You like the kind words of Twitch chat because we usually call you a scared little bitch because of the good dude from Fern G Gully showed. I, d I don't get the reference, Fleep. Roger that. What? That's going to be the twist. I bet my girlfriend on it. You can't raise with zero ante, homie. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Turn on the TV, I guess. Okay, go, go, go. Gross. Uh, hey, stop squeezing you little. Ugh. Oh, now we gotta explain all this to Chie. Is she even gonna be here? You mean the soccer ball and oxen free? Dude, fuck that soccer ball, dude. Oh, hey. Yeah, dude, we murdered some shadows. Fuck you mean. Weren't you watching? Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Ow. Jesus. Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The, the rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! Ah. And the Sundere dissolves into a caring woman. Classic trope. I mean, scared snip, damn it! I hate you both! Oh, and now back to the hard, cold exterior. Here we go. Maybe we did go a little too far. What, too far into the TV? Into another fucking dimension, Yosuke? Yeah, I think we went a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. Chie gonna flatten both your dicks? I have no issue with that. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. Don't watch any TV, dumbass. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Weird thing to say to me. Well, see you in the morning. Can someone explain this game to someone who's never played? Uh, it's basically Digimon 2. Same storyline, almost exactly. Just different characters. Chie is the reason I want Tomboy out back. There you go. Huh? Hmm? Yukiko! What did you say, punk? Sniper space! Yo, thanks for the five gifted subs, homie. What the fuck? Appreciate that. Uh, Captain Quirp, Shamrock Rage, Gunseller, Zichu, and Chu Fai Mao. Welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Enjoy those fancy new emos, and you can thank Sniper Space for all of them. Big meaty claws. Thanks, homie. Strong looks. All right, what's going on with Yukiko? Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an what errand. What did you say, punk? Thanks for making good content. Appreciate it, man. Claws. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's been better now that you're in a kimono for some reason. I like it here. What did really? you say, punk? Big, meaty, claws! But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. You go out for errands in a fucking kimono? That's what I'm what saying. What did you say, punk? Big, meaty claws. Can't wait to see the sub count drop next month. Eh, it's bound to happen eventually. Oh no, now I'm simping on Twitch. Fuck, how do I take him back? Too late, buddy. Are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... She's a real handful. I see. She's always full of energy. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I should get going. 
I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Oh, that's right. You are running a hotel or something. Our inn can't function without me right now. All these women after a guy who only speaks in text and yells persona. Listen, you think women are complicated? They're not. The only thing they care about are your taste in memes, anime, and your ability to yell the word persona. Samantha Media, tomboy, outback, or femboy hooters? Femboy hooters, what the fuck kind of question is that? You like girls? Girl with dick. It's like a girl with more. Like, what? Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> yeah, see you there, Kimono-chan. Milf Denny's? I don't know, kind of old for me, TBH. Ah! Dad's late. Yeah, this old trope. Oh, more news. Next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. Ah, yes, in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim... And since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body. Miss Konishi? Police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. 1 a.m. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Dilfardis. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Uh, I'll be here with you. Eh? I'll be okay. Oh. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Are you going to be okay or do you need my help? Pick one, Nanako. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Well, she's left alone most of the time. Located upstream of Samegawa River is the town's oldest historical landmark. Are you guys noticing that there's a couple toy bears over the TV? Is that a joke? Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Radium-rich? After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko is on TV wearing a kimono. <gasps> in other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. They're making such a big deal out of how young she is. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me. Maybe stop bugging her. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. What a weird thing to say to, like, a 16-year-old. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Huh? No, um... The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Indeed it is. Hopefully they have a Junez commercial. Oh, I need to do the dishes. What dishes? We've been having takeout every night for dinner. You decide to help out with the housework. You can now check your status by pressing the command menu button. Ah, uh, yes, I have that button. I don't know what button it is. I also can't press start to access the menu. Hold on. Ah, here we go. Settings. Anti-aliasing. No, not anti-aliasing. V-Sync on. Okay. Is that better somehow? I can't imagine it would be. There's more meals than dinner? Well, why is she doing the dishes now? Nothing catches your eye. I guess we hit it with the old save rooney Overwrite this one, since I accidentally made two files for some reason. It goes a lot faster when there are two people washing the dishes. Yeah, I get that, but I don't see any dishes. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. Are these dishes? There's no dishes, you tiny brat. Is this dishes? Okay, whatever. It looks clear. We're moving on. Do 
Do you not leave breakfast and lunch dishes in the sink to do at the end of the day? I eat out every single meal, so dishes aren't a thing I do. It's raining outside. Will something appear on the TV? I mean, yeah, obviously. Let's see who's going to die next, huh? In other Enaba related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. <laughs> we can predict fog throughout the year now? Okay. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Thank you. Oh, buddy. The image is there again. It seems as if the conditions are met. You can see it many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It appears to be a woman. It looks like she's wearing a kimono. Oh, no. The fact that I can tell there's a kimono. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? Oh, man. The image disappeared. Reach Anulo. Thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the meme stream dream team. Hope you're enjoying this playthrough of Dragon Quest IV. Oh! Welcome. Hello, Igor. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. That's good to hear. I have summoned you within your dream. I get it. Move on. Seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. And so we meet again. Can I have a drink? This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. The Velvet Key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Uh, I don't get it. Is fine for now. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Ah, yes, of course. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart, and the heart is strengthened through bonds. So that's a weird question, but go with it. So there is this humanoid bird, and it has the greatest pussy ever. Now, you can smash this bird all you want, and the pussy will always be hitting hard. But everyone thinks you're weird for partaking in that bird puss. Or, you can smash human pussy, but it's always trash. You still crave sex, but it never satisfies you. Would you smash the bird and have everyone think you're weird, or smash humans and always be let down? I'd smash the bird. And I feel like there's a life lesson to be had here. If you're gonna do something that people think is weird, but is true to you, you gotta do what's true to you, man. If it's people making fun of you for making videos online, you got to make those videos online. If it's living in Florida and drinking hand sanitizer, do that. Just be who you are. You know what I mean? Life's too short. As you form bonds, in short, I'd smash the bird puss. With others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. So the better my connections with my relationships in real life means I get more power in the shadow world? 
Every girl is grossed out by the bird. Who needs girls to be attracted to who you're smashing if they have the world's best puss? What kind of question is that? Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. I see you're a Where man of culture as well. Where will power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> we will watch my career with great interest. Till we meet again. So Matt, there's a new terminal montage video. I saw it's like seven minutes long too. Yeah. I haven't watched it, but I saw that there is one. Yo. You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. It turns out someone was thrown in again. There really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. Why are we um why are we going to school on a Saturday? You guys seeing this? I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Whatever makes you feel better about knowing that I'm the main character, Yosuke. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Faint stirring? We literally face death together. <gasps> the power of friendship? What is this? We've unlocked a fire spell. Brings close to the truth. Thou shalt be... Ah, oh, fuck. It went away too fast. Did I click A? I must have clicked A too much. Japan only gets Sundays off? That's why they're so smart. But how are they also so good at video games? The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others... Your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Yosuke can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Nice! That's super useful. Chie, have you learned how to fight yet? Chie, um, about yesterday, we're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Oh, no. Huh? Y Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about... How people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. I also think that. She's in a kimono. That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. Days ago? Was that not just last night? I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. Emailed? I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained in the other world for Chie. Oh, thank God we get to speed run through it. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, 
are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Call. Another call. She said she emailed. Email is what they use before social media, but they have phones. Good. Her voicemail picked up. She, she's not answering. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it. Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the inn. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Aha. The story's getting intense. I have to take a quick break. I probably won't be any more than like 10 minutes or so. I will BRB. In the meantime, um, here is uh, some royalty-free music. Or what is it? Let's, let's do some lo-fi Japanese music that won't get me copyrighted. And BRB.
too. All right, I'm back. I changed my shirt because the shirt that I was wearing before was getting really tight around my neck because it's like a fitted shirt. People need to stop making fitted shirts. I prefer this shirt that's a nice, comfy, loose fit but still looks great. It also happens to have some memes on it. If you guys were wondering, they're available at sumetomedia.com. We have a bunch of different designs and colors. Just saying. Free shipping over 70 bucks. Feel free to buy a bunch. Anyway, let's get it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I put the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Can you please wear a green shirt on stream? It's, it's just obnoxious. It's not cool or anything. It's just annoying. Nobody's picking up at the inn? There's nobody even working the reception? Oh. Thank God she's there. Yukiko's there. She's alive! it was nothing. I'll email you again later. We need to go to the inn. She was over at the inn. We need to go to the inn! She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Okay, well let's go make sure the group doesn't push her into a TV. A year. <laughs> That's not she that comforting. She'll be at the end tomorrow too. Brad's wife would have picked up the phone. <laughs> Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine, and you were all Yukiko-san inside that say, place. Punk, big, meaty, 
Sniper Space, thanks for another gifted sub. Crabbed. Enjoy that fancy new sub you got there, my guy. You can use a bunch of new emotes in chat, and you can thank Sniper Space for them. Appreciate the support, homie. Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. Maybe it's a premonition of who's going to die. Put two and two together, man. Come on. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Samet, what's your spiritual animal? Probably a tiger. I was born in Bangladesh, so I mean like a Bengal tiger, more than likely. I feel like... I feel like I'd also be okay with a hyena. You know, they're always laughing. I feel like that speaks to me. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed... You have a good community here? I enjoy the time in chat. I'm glad you're enjoying your time in chat, but Lord have mercy you have not met the community here. I'd like to say how the Midnight Channel works, but I actually don't know shit about it myself. Also, don't spoil things, but yeah, let's find out together. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. I think it's Yukiko Shadow? Mm? Seem to be people at the other TV. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that teddy guy? Sniper Space said tiger and I said hyena for you? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's not super difficult to understand. I feel like somebody's like, I got it. Come here, you could probably look at a dude, talk to them for a bit, and then be like, yeah, you're kind of an orangutan, you know what I mean? Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? Is this really worth it? I mean, can't you just tell them that there's a really good sale on a TV on the other side of the place or something? Oh, something bit you? What an asshole. What's wrong? Shh, not so loud, you idiot. Baka Yosuke. Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? I'll be all right. Wow, that looks like it hurts. Jeez, that stupid bear. There's no 360p option? There is not. Unless you're partnered on Twitch, you can't change the resolution to anything other than what I'm streaming at. It it If it sounds stupid, that's because it is. So, until I get 75 average viewers and they accept me into the Twitch partner program, you gotta just watch at whatever resolution I stream at. It's so stupid. Hey, you. What are you King Vam 13 you thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the cream stream. Meme stream, welcome to, um, uh, this. It's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear like always. Hate it when the abyss and the TV bites me. Yeah, me too. This land feels so barren. <laughs> How does that joke make sense in Japanese? Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? Teddy is evil calling in right now. I want to make that guess, but it feels too obvious. Plus, I want to, I like the idea of there being someone helpful in the shadow realm, you know? I, I need that comfort right now. I'm going to go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah, you'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Oh, so we're not going in the Shadow Realm. <sighs> Alright. Don't forget to watch tonight. Shouldn't we go, like, make sure Yukiko isn't, like stalked or something maybe we should go rent a room at the end and tell yukiko to you know have a sleepover or something 
And that way she can't get pushed into a TV. I mean, isn't the, um... Oh, what the fuck? Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. They're examining the liquor store's daughter? Or is this a third murder? We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like Ah, uh, it's the liquor store daughter. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. Feels like it. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? Not a very comforting thing to hear from the... You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Interesting. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. Interesting. It's Dojima? Hmm. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. I mean, yeah. I was kind of expecting that to happen once an affair went public. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah. I agree. Then we have the second case. Regarding Saki Konishi. What did you say? She's the one who discovered Fuck. Sniper Space, bro, you're going sicko mode right now. Gary Shiggles, welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Enjoy those fancy new emotes you've got. You can thank Sniper Space for them. Appreciate the support, homie. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. Guys, I understand we want to make guesses about what's happening in this game, but do remember it's like twelve years old. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. Sorry. My girlfriend bruised her feet doing some sort of gardening, and I'm telling her that I'm not letting her out of the house without wrapping her in bubble wrap first. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. Hmm? <sighs> Either way. All we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. I mean, the first murder feels like it makes sense. Hey, Sumetto, it's been a while, like two weeks. Yeah, I've been kind of swamped. I had to spend all weekend working on um, editing the... Uh, no, what the fuck did I do? On Thursday, I did the This Week in Memes that went up Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, I just had to take off because my fucking head was hurting. And my shoulder's been killing me since doing that last eight-hour editing session. So I've been trying to stay off the computer a little bit. But now, since I'm working uh, Monday through Thursday, I'm probably going to try and stream after work Monday through Thursday. Um, but we'll see how well that goes. For for now, we're, we're just trying to make it happen. No, I mean, I haven't caught a stream. Oh, I haven't, I've only streamed once in the last two weeks, is the, is the other thing. Also, don't sweat it, man. This stream's meant to be a chill place. Drop by if you can, chat if you want to. Don't, don't take it too seriously, man. Welcome home. 
Ah, we made it. Okay. Savey, savey. Um. Well. This answer is hard. Oh, she's watching a quiz show. Okay. Um. I guess making lunch is a plot line at some point. All right, time to check out the Midnight Channel. Who's ready to get spooked? I'm not. Last time you said you'd hit me with a belt if I didn't show up more. That's only because you like being hit with belts. Try not to kink shame you. It feels like you consistently get 30 viewers for a stream. Is that not enough for partnership? Partnership requires 75 viewers for stream on average. And then they also kind of factor in whether or not you're doing something unique. So... You know, if you're like drawing or doing body painting or singing or musical stuff, anything other than just playing video games, you're a little bit more likely to get accepted. But 75 average viewers is the is the big thing that's hard for people to go. I also always have my viewership blocked on Twitch, so I can't see it. So I never pay attention to how many viewers I have. I just do my best to just stream and talk with whoever's in chat and just not pay attention to it. Because I figure it's going to be a little while until we hit that number anyway. So just trying to keep it in the back of the mind. You know what I mean? All right. I'm telling you right now, man. It's been okay so far, but I'm not going to be able to deal with jump scares. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. Princess Yukiko? I score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lazy what are you doing, Stepbro? Ooh. NMTZ03, thanks for the follow, <laughs> homie. Welcome to the meme stream, Dream Team. Here I go. Oh, no. Wait, don't go into the PewDiePie realm. Is that the same Yukiko from school, or does she just have the same name? She looks different. I love the game, but it's grindy as hell. I can't tell. That was definitely Yukiko. Oh, man, did you see it too? Yosuke, tell me. Yes, I saw that. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. Well, how the fuck can you not tell? But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? Yeah, it sounded weird. And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? She must be on a show that's on that stage that we keep experience. Do you have Lacey Unmentionables on? Always! What's going on? <laughs> I constantly stare at that zero-viewer account and just get depressed when I stream. Yeah, just, just block it out. I also don't recommend... Not that anybody asked, but don't, if you're on Twitch and you're not getting a lot of viewers, don't stream. It's Streaming with low viewers is not going to get you more viewers on Twitch. You have to fucking make YouTube videos or do some shit on Twitter and then get people to come and watch you live once you have an audience somewhere else. Twitch does not do a good job at fucking promoting small streamers. It's, it's just going to discourage you. Like three or four years ago, I started streaming on Twitch because we were playing Counter-Strike and League of Legends like every night. Maybe I'd have one person drop by on like a five, six hour stream. It's it's just all it does is discourage you. I do not recommend streaming with no streamers. Uh try to uh try to contact Yukiko. Try to contact Chie. Let's try and keep the party together. You're right. Let's get her to contact Yukio san. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow, go to bed early tonight. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it gives the weather. Today's sunny. I'm hesitant to shell out $100 for a good microphone. Uh, if you can get up to $150, i have given my microphone recommendation oh, good before. Morning. You don't spend every waking minute just making YouTube videos? I spend every waking minute thinking about making YouTube videos. Just wail out to a big streamer, become a mod of theirs, and then start streaming and suck dick for that fat host? That's not... I mean, that makes... If you can do that over the course of like a month, you'll definitely end up with more people watching than um, if you just keep streaming with zero streamers. $100 is not enough for a good mic. $150 minimum? Nope. 80 bucks. Get a Samsung Q2U. You can plug it in via USB. It sounds solid. And then when you get the money, get yourself a fucking uh, mix amp and plug it in through XLR and you'll get the same sound quality I have. 
My mic setup right now is something like $400 because I have like a portable mix amp, but you can get a single microphone mix amp for a hundred bucks and you can get a microphone of this quality for $60. 160 bucks, you'll sound like every YouTuber you've ever heard. That's all you need to spend. You left already. He said I forgot you had a Twitch, came here for a quick follow. Hey, appreciate it, man. Thank you. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have an important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. She's by herself all the time. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. <laughs> As for next week's forecast. Oh, the sun's going to come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? You decided to go out. Okay, cool. Glad I don't need to make this decision. What happens if I don't show up? A Samsung Q2U? Oh my god, do I have to do this every stream? One of these! Sorry for the holdup. Get yourself one of these. Samsung Q2U. This particular microphone is great because it has both a USB and an XLR connection. So if your price right now that you can spend is only like 60, 70 bucks, get one of these and plug it in through USB. They sound great. When you get the money, get yourself an XLR interface, plug it in through XLR, and it will sound way better. And you can do that down the road when you have the money for it. So that makes this a great starter microphone. Get one of those. You see me, anytime you see me standing up and using that microphone, like when I do the bits on my YouTube where I'm like pretending to be Eminem and I'm rapping into it, that's that microphone. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. What do you mean some stuff we can use? Take a look at these. Oh, what the fuck? We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? Um, I mean, I kind of like the katana. Maybe I can learn the total concentrated breathing technique and unleash my demon form. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. Oh. As for me, wait, maybe both would be good, too. Kind of like this? Um, maybe take it easy, buddy. Or like this. Dude, seriously, chill. What about this? Bro, holy fuck, bro. Oh, God, you got the attention of the police. Oh, Two no. Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Oh, my God. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't Swords in public that. are illegal in Japan, homie. You're going to get arrested? Oh, no. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. It, oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now. Uh, hopefully they turn out to be fake and we'll be let go. But, but this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest. Oh, my God. You were taken to the police station with your scared suspects? Oh, no. Oh, you idiot. Tell them it's a sex thing? Nah. They're not German you police. They're not going to care. A stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. They got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Your weapons have been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Amagi girl. Seems like it. But she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. No, that's not K Kikona. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Weapons are regulated in Japan. Swordsmiths can only legally make a few swords a year. Part of the reason why they're so expensive. Oh, that's kind of cool. Isn't a Magi fried squid? I mean, they always do that. They name people like fucking Nori and Togarashi and shit like that. Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? 
It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? I like your gamer glasses, Sumeto. Thanks, they're real gunner optics. I had my girlfriend buy them for me. We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Oh, we should have gone to get her, damn it. Why do we fuck around and wait till the morning? We should have just gone right to the inn. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Those two things don't line up. If everybody was busy, she's the fucking manager. She should be with them. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days. So we're really sensitive to stuff like this. Ugh. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Young. You notice an immediate difference? Most people I talk to say they help reduce head headaches over long sessions. Yes. I wouldn't say they help with headaches, but that's probably because I don't stare at my monitor as much as like a full-time Twitch streamer or something. But if I take them off, I immediately realize how bright my screens are, especially since I have these two lights on the sides. And I've had sessions where I've gone from being on my computer to going right to sleep. And if I don't have the glasses on, it's really hard to go to sleep. If I do have the glasses on, my eyes shut immediately. And I think that has to do with the blue light reduction. So these are like 80 bucks because they're super thin on the frames and they're carbon fiber around the ears. They're light. But you can get thick plastic framed ones for like $30 and they have the same lenses. So they'll do the same job. They just aren't as lightweight and comfortable as these. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. Miss Yamano had some harsh words about the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. Yamano. Yamano is the girl who was staying there? The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? They need to hook this man up with a sponsorship deal? I think my channel's big enough for me to reach out to sponsors. Especially stuff like glasses and stuff, because I wear them anyway. Yeah. I'm working on making a media kit, which is like a little PowerPoint presentation going, Hey, I have a YouTube channel. I have this many subs. I do this kind of videos. Do you want to sponsor me? I need one or two more pages. But once I complete it, I can start sending it out and then hopefully we get some cool sponsorships and I can afford, you know, like more art and fancier thumbnails and animations and shit like that. This man said carbon fiber frames, not joking. I don't know if you can see it on the fucking camera, but they're like legitimate. On the, the, the actual fucking frame is aluminum, but the parts that go around your ears are carbon fiber. Cause if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. This man really called me a civvy. Forget I said anything, please. That man's got some chunky fucking boots on. Have you noticed this? Look at the size of those fucking... Hey, got Doc Martens, bro. Think that Yukiko -san... There you are! Oh, Chie, what are you doing here? Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Get sponsored by Capri -san. I want a coupon code. Do, I mean, real big companies like that that don't even kind of relate to gaming stuff, uh, they're not going to even acknowledge my email, dude. They're not going to give a fuck about me. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding... We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? No, uh, what? What do you know, Chie? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. Okay, so we don't know if she's dead yet. We just know that she's not home, right? I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Is she wearing four layers? Apparently, Yukiko-san's does look like it. Because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive, and the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. Oh no! What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. 
They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Right. That's the important thing. Especially in her 2D pick. I mean, yeah, she's wearing a shirt over a shirt. I want to imagine that the blue underneath is like a like a lacy bra or something. And, you know, just so that she's not wearing three shirts. But I don't know. If the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. All right, I ordered myself a Samsung Q2U. There you go. That's the right move to make. I'm going to. Just be sure to use it on the stand. Either get yourself an arm like this or use the little stand that they have that sits on the table. Don't try to hold it because it picks up handling noise. So whenever your hand moves on the microphone, it'll make a sound. So, you know, just make sure of that. So, Matt, what set of glasses are these? These are probably not going to be written on the glasses, right? Ah, uh, no. Oh, yes. Here you go. They are the Scope Onyx slash Carbon. So the Scope is the frame of the glasses. Onyx is the color, and Onyx slash Carbon is the is the finishing bit. So these are the Gunner Scopes. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. We went in with a golf club before, and we did just fine. Do you have a prescription? I don't. My eyes aren't great, though. When I'm at work, I have to, like, crimp and strip small wires and stuff, and I lose focus when, when they're real small, and I have to use this magnifying glass thing that they have set up. I don't know if that's for everybody, but maybe I'm getting old. I'm, I might do with... I mean, I can read this shit just fine. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Really? Come on, follow me. Wait, if we get legitimate weapons and we get caught again, we're going to get in trouble trouble, though. What the fuck? Kunai knives, battle axes, katanas. Oh, of course, the blacksmith. Here we are. Moshi, moshi. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess. They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? It's right next to the liquor store. What do you oh, mean? I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... I got a USB snowball mic, but it fell and broke its USB port when I sat down to record with it. Ah, oh, that sucks. The snowball mic is not a bad microphone, but like, like I used one for like four years. Every one of the old Minecraft videos you see on my YouTube channel are recorded with a, with a snowball microphone. It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. Yeah, way too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! Oh? You don't know shit about how I feel. You can come might die from this for crying out loud. You got a point there. I'm going, and that's that! Okay. Um... Okay. Okay. Whatever. I want a party of three. So yeah. I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. She says in a dress. Listen, I'm not kidding around. Do you use regular wire strippers or one of those cool auto gauge spring loaded shits? I have both, and it depends on whatever thickness of wire I'm doing. Some of the wires we have are standard sizes, and we have a specific thing that'll work on the gauge, but some of the wires, I just don't know what gauge they are, and I just use manual strippers and do it carefully. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. Yo, Sumeto, been a blast, but I got to head out. Have a good night. All pleasure hanging with you. Appreciate everything, Sniper Space. Thanks for dropping by, man. Have a good night. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. All right, so we're buying weapons. This is happening. Man, what should we get? I'd be down for a nice hey, katana. Mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now, so I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I want a battle axe. I like five thousand yen. Thank you. I want a big, heavy, slow I swinging weapon. Out. How about you guys? All right, let's get it. You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Hmm, a battle axe under my uniform? Okay, let's try that. 
All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. All right. God, they have a food court? Sounds like a cool store, actually. Have you come to see my art? Please look around. Take your time. Ah, what a nice guy. Weapon. For me. I can only get an imitation katana? What about Yusuke? Ugh. Okay. Fine, I'll get a katana. It's a slight increase. Fuck it, yeah. You want to equip the imitation katana? Yes. You want to sell the golf club that was equipped previously? Yeah. Nice. Okay, Yusuke, let's get you the hunting nata. Tiny bit more damage than the monkey wrench. It's not all that much better. I think I might be better getting armor. Chainmail, 3,000. Yeah. There you go. Those are some nice big boosts. It makes me less evasive, but whatever. Let's get the chainmail. Yes. And do you want to sell the t-shirt? Yes. And then Yusuke, let's get you a chainmail. Yes. Yes, equip. And yes, sell the t-shirt. And then accessories? I don't have money for accessories. Oh no. I can sell... No, I can't sell the medicine. Okay, can I buy Yusuke armor though? No. Or he already has armor. I think it might have been better to get accessories. Can I show the info? Headband increases strength by one. Plain ring. Everything just increases by one. And eh, maybe it's not the end of the world. Talk? If you want something special, bring me your own materials and I'll use them to make stuff for you. Oh! Bring me rare materials that I've never seen before. If you do, I can make you some really cool stuff. When choosing what to create, the number and type of materials varies. If you bring me the proper materials, I can use them to create some fine pieces for you. Nice. Okay. Slight increase in attack and we have real armor now. That's good. Why isn't the store owner like, hey, I'm not going to sell actual metal weapons to high schoolers? I mean, he's a blacksmith in 2008. You really think he has options on who buys his stuff? Uh-oh. $48 for an imitation katana is pretty good? Eh. I mean, if it works. What gauge are you using that's so small stripper like the ones in Discord can't handle? I've had no problem using a 22 gauge with it. It's not that they're too small. We just might not have a dedicated stripping tool for it. We have two big stripping tools that are for like... 16 gauge, 12 gauge, but the smaller ones, like, I think maybe I just like to use the manual clippers for them. Bizarre door. I can't even explore the world. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. The velvet key in your pocket is shining. Oh, I must be getting called to the velvet room. I feel like I get in my head when I try to make videos and stuff like this won't be good and no one will watch it. Any advice to overcome that, Symmetro Media? I feel that every time I make a video. We have been expecting... Every time. That doesn't go away. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. I would say my best advice is just know that when you put out a video, that's not like the end of the world, right? I think one of the biggest things that helped me out was when I started doing a video every week. When I was only doing like one video a month, it was like, oh man, this is only getting 60 views. But when I was doing a video every week, it was like, all right, I made this video. I can look at it for the next day and look at whether or not it's getting a lot of views. But realistically, if I want to get another video out next week, I have to start planning it right now. And then it just keeps your mind busy. And the next thing you know, it's been a year. You've done 50 videos and you're miles ahead of where you were when you started. And then, you know, you just keep going from there. That's the only way to get better, man. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> you gonna introduce me to this other chick with the high socks? What's her name? Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. 
Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. That's kind of gross, dude. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. So just push through and make the best thing you can at the time? That's all you can do, my guy. What's the alternative? Learn how to get rid of doubt and then still only make whatever you're capable of making at that moment? It's all you can do. You make a video now, maybe it's great, maybe it's shit, but you just focus on making the next one better. Multiply that by a hundred times, you'll be a hundred times better by the time you make a hundred videos. I, I was watching a... I was listening to a podcast on YouTube growth and strategy the other day, and they said that the average person who has a million subs on average has made 2,200 videos on their channel. 2,200. Think about that. Nobody gets there randomly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp. But you must master your fear and reach out to them. Frozen Kit Kats sound good, dude. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. Checking in, how's the game so far, Sumetto Media? It's been a lot of this story, but it's been very interesting. Most importantly, I have not bumped into any jump scares that have made me shit myself. And so therefore we're still playing, which is the best news so far. You recall that you have the magician social link with magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a person of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. Interesting. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. Really? Namaste. <laughs> Unfriendly looking girl? Hey, you don't, uh, you don't happen to work at, uh, Outback Steakhouse, do you? Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What's it take to get Amanda to unlock that choker? The girl seems unfriendly. Just the way I like him. You feel that you met her somewhere before, huh? Oh, this is the girl from the train station. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. This is Marie. Namaste. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice and forgive her for her impoliteness. Does your girlfriend watch your stream, Samet? Fuck no. Got it. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. Interesting. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Hmm. Please do not forget this. I won't, Igor. Don't you worry. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell.
I don't know if people usually give tips. The Proud Premier. Thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the Meme Stream Dream Team. Hope you enjoy your stay. I don't know if people usually give tips while he's playing, but maybe mention that he should hold matching personas when interacting with people. Oh, let's hit the old save do. Where the fuck am I? Is this where my house is? Huh. A shrine. Interesting. You recall that you were supposed to meet up with Yosuke and Chie at the June's food court. Go to June's? Yes. It'll make sense later. Matching personas. I should equip the persona of whomever I'm a talking to. Really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going! Yeah, dude. Fine, but don't... Push yourself, got it? Oh! Thank God we don't have a long conversation in front of the TV. It really is that fair from last time. What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. What a mood! Seems he's been thinking about himself all this time. I've been deliberating over it for a long time now. I fucking hate these puns. I'm so sick of these puns. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> I used to be the guy with headphones constantly around my neck. I mean, I don't have a huge judgment against it. I've just always found headphones a little too tight to keep around my neck all the time. Uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude! You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now's not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? Miss, uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko san? He doesn't, he doesn't know. know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Ten bucks says Chia is really strong in battle for some reason. Oh, this is where what's her face went in, in the TV. What? You think this is the place they showed on TV last time? Looks like it. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. They were Skull Candy Skull Crusher headphones? Of, the, of course they were. Of course they there's were. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? That's a good point. Can we? No, I still don't know how fucking rainstorms happen. I 
I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Why doesn't Chie have glasses? Because this game's terrible. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. I mean, Yukiko saying doing, stuff like step score right. The Agile Potato, thanks for the follow, homie. Welcome to the uh, Meme Stream Dream Team. Hope you enjoy like your stay. All. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? You think it's Yukiko's shadow? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. <coughs> so, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all. Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? That, I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to answer that question. I'll be honest. I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait, don't go alone. Jeez, we better follow her. You're never gonna stop me. Dude, shut up. Get in. Go, 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 go. Take this. Revival beads. This too. Peach seeds, soul drops. Thank you. Areato. She hasn't gone that far yet. Shadows have gotten aggravated ever since you two got here. They'll probably attack as soon as they find you, Sensei. Try to get the jump on shadows before they attack you. Press the action button to attack. Try and land the attack so the shadow does not make the first move. A to attack. Okay, A, A to attack. Okay. Oh, shit. Wait. <laughs> can, I, can I quickly reverse my camera? Hold on. Inverted camera, yes. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Let's go, you bitch! Yeah, first hit, baby! Oh, what the fuck? Wait, he attacks on his own? Let's go, partner. All right. Okay. I think I can just kill it with one hit, for real, for real. It does not have a lot of health left, yeah. Shuffle time? You see mysterious cards before your eyes. You recall what Igor told you. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When enemies are defeated, a shuffle time may occur and a number of cards will appear in your mind. These cards have various effects, but drawing a Persona card will allow you to obtain a Persona. The obtained Personas can be used in battle or they can be fused in the Velvet Room to give birth to new Personas. In most cases, you will only be able to draw one card. Select the card that you need depending on your situation. Enemies won't notice until changing floors or once the next battle ends. Or Chariot Level 2. I'll just take this thing. Sounds cooler. Triggering one more during battles and defeating all enemies with an all-out attack makes shuffle time occur more often. Use this knowledge to defeat enemies in a way that grants the maximum amount of rewards. Okay. Go to tactics. You can make it so you control your party mates. That's not on by default. Congratulations, Sensei. Nice. Good levels. Oh, learned a new move. Hell yeah. Okay, so what is it under? Go to tactics. Obviously not under items.
What is it under? When you start the next encounter? Okay. Oh my god, he got critted! Oh no, he just got knocked. Tactics. Direct commands, there we go. Okay, um... I should use a spell, right? Alright, let's hit it with a Zeo. It's probably weak to Zeo, right? It is not. Shit. Holy fuck, he destroyed me. Just one enemy left. Is this healing? Wait, can I see what it does? Increases allies defense? No, I need to use an item. 100 HP. 20 HP. SP. Okay, I have to use a medicine. Okay, I have to take this time to try and rev the other guy, right? I feel like that's the smartest thing to do. Even if it does almost kill me. Okay. Let's try... Oh, am I... Oh, I'm the other guy. Okay. Um. So, lightning doesn't do anything. What about Garu? Let's try it. Yes, I got it with a weakness. Let's go, partner. Okay. Final rush. Look at me learning and shit. Recover HP and SP reco partial recovery for the entire party? Yeah. Is this an item? Or is this a spell? Whatever, I'm going to take it. The entire party's HP and SP has been restored. Oh, nice. Retored? Restored. This feels so weird playing the fucking game now. Sensei, are you okay? Your health's low. One life stone. Okay. What does a life stone do? 30% of an ally's max HP. Twenty HP, let's use this. All right, that looks to be as good as we're going to get. No! Yes! Okay, got the first hit. Oh, it's two enemies. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Wait, can't I use analytics? You can win this. Do your best. Oh, I've never I haven't fought these guys before? It doesn't show me that they're weak to electricity? Still gonna use electricity. Hit them with the Zeo. Why do they have the same health? Shouldn't one of them be weaker for me getting the first attack? Or does it really only just give me the first move? Go, That's how it's you knocked it down. Knock down the other one. Hell yeah. Final rush, baby. Oh, I played that perfectly, even though this is the easiest fight in the game still. Uh, I want the combat music to last longer. Skill card. I'll take one of these. Rank 1 sword card. Obtain the skill card. Rakunda. Nice. We didn't take any damage. How do I know when I'm supposed to be going through the doors? I guess we don't. This looks like a boss door if I've ever seen one. A chest. Snuff soul. Cool.
No! Oh, did he hit me first? Fuck! I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, this is three enemies. Missed. Let's go. Um, I have Zeo. He's already down. Can I see how much health he has? He has full health. Zeo. Nice. Another Zeo. Hit this guy. The other dude's full health but knocked down. So if they're all knocked down, do I get a finisher? I do. Oh, it doesn't even matter if he's full health. So if you knock everybody down... Oh, no. It just does a lot of damage. Okay. Shit, I don't have an electric attack on this guy. Deals light wind damage to one foe. Light physical damage. Slightly restores one ally's HP. Let's do light physical damage. Oh my god, 53 damage. That's light? Basically, just try everything until you figure out what the enemy's weak and resistant to. Okay. Go through all the doors. Usually, there's a staircase to let you know when it's the right way. Okay, good. Oh my god, I can't believe we made it through that while taking, like, pretty minimal damage. Maybe we take just a bit of healing? What does Snuff Stole do? 500 SP? Oh my god. 20 HP. Let's do that. I have one more. Let's give it to Yosuke. Ah. Soul drop. Cool. Okay. So we should be going through all the doors then. I think I'm just going to die if I keep going through all the hallways. So. No, I'm so bad. Uh, it's only one enemy at least. 39 damage though. Analytics. This enemy's weak to wind skills. Weak to wind? Good thing I've got one. What? One enemy. Fight, fight, fight. I don't have a wind skill. I guess I just hit him with a normal attack then. Did I miss? Use your wind skill, dude. There you go. Finish him. This is hilarious. Four options. Nice. Obtain a chess key. Magician level 2, Devil level 3. I'll take that. Ukabak into your heart. Amazing, sensei. HP and SP have increased. You're now able to create personas up to level 5. Hell yeah. Sensei, are you okay? Your health's low. Now you got a point. Skill card that bestows Rakamunda? Rakunda? Let's try using this. He already has Rakunda. Oh, okay. Damn, I don't have a lot of health. I'm going to wait until I take one more hit on Sumeto, and then I'll use the one that restores 30% of my HP just to maximize the usage. Might be a bad idea, but I think that's the right way to do it. Chest. Good. What's the chance it's a mimic? Revival bead. Okay. That's useful, too. Staircase. Nice. Evening, everyone. What's going on? I shoot stuff. You should be the one to give Yosuke orders during a fight. You can give orders to your allies during combat with the tactic commands. Yeah, I already did that. Sensei, are you okay? Your health's low. There she is. Chia Chan's in there. Open the door. Yes. Ah, I completely forgot we're doing all this for Chia Chan. Oh, don't tell me she's already been Chia. taken. Are you all right? How'd you get this far? There were so many enemies. No, she's been possessed. 
She said that red looks good on me. Oh, no. Yukiko-san? I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. I wouldn't say it's worthless. Snow cones are okay. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. You're not worthless. Don't kill yourself. You're so sexy. <laughs> Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Are these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. What? Yukiko. Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong. She can do anything. She has everything that I don't. That's not true. I, your tits are probably bigger. I don't. I. I don't remember. Compared to Chie, I'm. I'm. Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life, and I. I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke. Oh no, Chie's other self. What? Ha! Darth Chie. Oh man, is that... It's just like Yosuke. She lost control over her suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. God damn it, people. Can't you just... Japanese people could just keep their shit together. We wouldn't have all these onis running around. Or uh, oni? Am I saying it right? Uh-oh. Chie is feeling insecure, guys. When you can go look at me with such jealousy? Man, did I get a charge out of that? You can go to the score. She can't do anything if I know. Are we going to get some Disney shit where you kiss her to make her feel special? Probably. This game's all about the power of friendship. We need to protect Chie, obviously. We need to protect Chie chan right now. Wait, what? Wait, I was controlling Teddy's voice lines. No, don't come near me. Don't look at me. Chie, calm down. No, no, this isn't me. Wait, stupid. Don't say anything else like that. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. I'm, I'm the one who can't, can't do anything, anything alone. alone. I, I can't, can't win, win as, as a girl, girl let, let alone, alone as, as a person. person. I'm pathetic. Bruh. But you can go. She depends on me. <laughs> That's why she's my friend. I'll never loosen my grip on her. She's too important to me. No. That's not how I think of her. <laughs> so you're just going to turn your back and deny me again? Bro, this character development is intense. But things are different now. When the time comes, I'll be the one left standing. I'm still you. Shut up! You're... Chie, no! You're not me! <laughs> Yo. Is it just me or did Chie get really hot all of a sudden? Do I finally get a three-man party? Oh my god, it's like they took it right out of my dreams. Uh, nightmares. Uh, totally nightmares. I am a shadow, the true self. What do you guys think you're doing? Trying to defend the real me? Then you're gonna pay the price! Shut up! Quit being such a pain! Chie, just hang in there a little longer. Huh. Think you can stop me that easy? 
Okay. So looking through my items, okay, I have one healing item. And I have three revival items. So the right play to make here is to let Sumeto go down because he has lower health. Or whoever gets hit first, let them go down and then revive them before I use my healing items. That's the right play here. So let's try and hit him with a cleave. See if they're weak to physical damage. There's not a big chance they are, but let's try it. Resistant. Oh, no. Okay, let's try a wind attack. Weak. Yes. Let's go, partner. Good answer. Yeah, let's use a finisher. So that's a lot of damage. Okay. That wasn't a lot of damage. Okay. Fuck. It's fine. So I, I use my revive, bring him back. And then that's not a waste because um, Yosuke is the one that has the ability that can knock her down. So I should be using that anyway. Knock her down. She's weak. No, don't use the finisher yet. Use this time to heal. Lifestone, use it on Sumeto. Nice. Sumeto has to stay up so that I can revive Yosuke. Green wall. Wind resistance increase. That doesn't matter. Um, I don't have a wind move. So increases one ally's defense for three turns. Increases one... F decreases a foe's defense for three turns. Let's try this. Incre decrease your defense, because my attacks don't do anything anyway. And then use your attack. Okay, that's fine. I'll lower her defense again, because she's hitting Sumeto, which is good. Sumeto's the tank. Skill, use another Garo. Wait, why is she... What? Okay, she looks scornfully at Yosuke, so I think Yosuke should avoid... Or should be guarding. Let's try Zio. What's the chance she's weak to electricity? She's not. You should guard. 100% you should guard. I'm resistant? Okay, good. Decrease one foe's defense for three turns? Why is that not working? Okay, I'll just increase your defense. Use a physical attack if you're lowering her defenses, not the wind move. Oh, is her fucking... But she's resistant to physical damage. Slightly restore one ally's HP? Oh, that might be a strong play here. But I'm going to try Garo again. Just to knock her down. Knock her down. She's weak. Let's go, partner. No. Wait, what? Pause. Okay. Use Dia to increase my health. Oh, that's a good heal. That's a really good heal. Wind resistance increased. Okay. Sumeto should use... No, can't use revival bead. Use this. 10 SP. Yes. On me. Yes. Okay, and then you should use Garo again. Resistant? Fuck. That's right. She used her resistant move. Um. Restore 10 SP again. And then you... Should use Garo. This should do full damage now, right? I think so. Yosuke. Okay. You should use Soul Drop on Yosuke. Sorry. And then you should use... Should he guard? He shouldn't guard. He should use Heal on Sumeto. 
so that Sumeto can use revive on him when they both get knocked down. Wind resistance reverted. Miss Sumeto. Miss again. Fuck. 25 damage. That's fine. That's fine. We have a revive exactly for this. Hey, up and at him, baby. Hit him with the wind move. Nice. Let's try a finisher now. We have plenty of health. How much damage does the finisher do? 47. Oh, man. Wind resistance increased. Okay. You should use... Increase one ally's defense for three turns. And decrease one foe's defense for three turns. Let's try that. Boom. Defense is down. And then let's just try attacking. Or should we use a skill that does physical damage? No, let's just try attacking. 24 damage. 23. That's fine. That's literally fine. Um, use an item. Use soul drop to keep Sumeto's SP up. And then you. You have enough SP to hit him with another Garo. Do it. Resistant. Okay, Sumeto, try just attacking. Right? Yeah, Sumeto attack. And then you guard. You're about to get hit hard. Nice. Okay, um. What do I do? What do I do? I think you need to use. Soul drop on Yos Yosuke. <laughs> Yosuke needs to use... Is her wind resistance down? I don't remember. We're going to try. Weak? She's down? No, we can't show her who's boss yet. You have to use your heal on Sumeto. Defense is reverted. That's annoying. All right, she's shielding. Wind resistance increased. Okay, Sumeto, use Soul Drop. The last Soul Drop we have is on Yosuke. Yo, Cakes and Foxy, thanks for the raid, homie. Thanks. All right, and then you, she has her defenses up. So what's the best thing to do here? Probably to heal yourself. Heal yourself. Nice. Here's her attack. Miss Sumeto, nice. Okay, Sumeto can now use a skill. Let's just try cleaving. Zeo? Let's try Zeo. Fuck it. No, let's try... This is... Increases allies' defense? No. Decreases foe's defense. Use that. Decrease her defense. Defense down. And then let's try hitting her with a physical attack. Let's try bashing her. Still resistant? Oh my god. I'm pretty healthy. I think I can hit her with a full attack. 26. You. Let's go with another Garo. Hopefully this knocks her. No, she's resistant. Wind resistance reverted. Good. Okay, it's fine. Oh, no. She's going to knock down Yusuke. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We still have a revive. Okay? We have a revive exactly for this. Get up. We got this. All right, knock her down. Garo. Weak. Finisher. Seventy-two damage. Not bad. Green wall. That's only wind resistance, right? Stupid. I'm too tanky now. I'm too tanky now. I have too much health now. Twenty-five doesn't matter. You're not gonna kill me now. I can literally just spam attack. She can't kill both of us. No. Oh, please charge! Oh my God! Come on, this has to kill. 
Bro, come on. This has to kill or it's over. Yes! Easy clap. Fuck out of here with your multi-layer nonsense. I do have a couple other personas, but I don't know how to equip them yet. I also picked them up this dungeon, so. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll be right back. Hold on. Hey, Cemento, can I do a small plug for myself? Yeah, go for it. Why not? Chie, are you okay? What happened? Uh, you blacked out and didn't help at all in the fight, you idiot. After Cemento's stream, go relax and check out the best amateur porn on Pornhub, Cakes and Foxy. Hey, nice. What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. But... Oh, fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Shit. What did I say? He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. <laughs> Wait, why? I've got other tabs? Guys. Time to get it now. Your hands can only be so busy. A side of me I couldn't forgive that I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. <laughs> None of the guys are going to wait. Yeah, my viewership instantly drops to three people. <laughs> uh, that'd be funny as fuck. Oh, she's got a persona now, maybe? Your persona looks cool. I have to say, only having two players in your party does not make it easy to cycle revives and heals. So that was a really hard fight. I feel like the second we get three people in the party, you know, my, the general JRPG um, fucking elements are going to play in and we're going to have a better time fighting. Uh, I, um, it's true that part of me feels... Your viewership won't go down, Samet. We'll just have you playing over the audio. I would prefer you don't jack off to my voice, but I'm not going to stop you from doing, you know, live your life, I guess. But I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! Dude, playing this game just makes me realize how long it's been since, like, me and my girlfriend or my friends have just gone out and gotten a milkshake or something. Like... What's it been, two fucking months since I've just gone out and done, like, normal human shit? You know what I mean? I'm okay. And Chow's about to die for five I'm minutes? <laughs> you don't look okay at all. Imagine I become the YouTuber that everybody's like, yeah, Cement makes great meme content, and he's also a really good content creator. He shouts out a lot of amateur porn. <laughs> like, that becomes my Thanks. thing. <laughs> you can use the same power we have now. Uh, that'd be so fucking funny. Guys, where do you get your best amateur porn? Oh, I just watched Cemento do? Media, man. He always recommends good stuff. <laughs> uh, what should we do? Uh, let's go back. Let's take a break. What's the difference? Let's take a break, I guess. Does this heal us? All right. Let's get back to the entrance, though. It's dangerous around here. But we haven't found um, the other girl. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. 
It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We still haven't saved Yukiko. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It would be much better for us all if you had your strength back. Yeah, let's take a that's heal. Why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I I uh, If those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. Not as strong as she thinks. If Sumetto had colored hair, it'd be because complete. Listen, when I go full time on YouTube, I will get colored hair. Not like bright blue or anything, but I I really like the idea of having like highlights or something. I don't know if it would look good, but I mean, I feel like hair just says a lot about a person, and I want my hair to say I'm not boring. You know what I mean? Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd. Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. What? They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. What do you mean the shadows don't attack normal people? We just had you, the, a fucking Chia's shadow just attack her. I'm so confused. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. Renzo, don't emphasize how close you live to somebody on the internet. It's it's weird in any situation. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. The shadows only attack fucking weirdos like you? I knew there was something special about me. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean they were killed by their other selves? Is that what's happening? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. But, but I can't turn back now. We've come so far. Yukiko's still here. She's all alone. She must be so scared. Yeah, we do have to go save her, then don't you we? you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's... You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. I feel like with a party of three, it can't get that much more difficult. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail, no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> All right. All right, cool. Let's take a break. Get your health up. I need more SP. Sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. I know how you feel. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san, right? <sighs> right. I'm getting sick of like short dicking the fucking sword attack to get the initiative in combat. Yo, Renzo! Thanks for the sticker, homie. Big Monka. Can somebody I, uh, explain to me what Monka S means? I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. I know it's like a Twitch thing, and it's like a. But what does it come from? My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? It's thanks to these the glasses we've got. That's right. You're not wearing the glasses. Yeah, dumbass. Oh yeah. What's with those glasses? Did your eyesight go bad? Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tam -ta -dam. I got a pair ready for Chie chan too. Hey, Here good job, Teddy. Go. I wonder what color hers are. Be purple. Oh, they're orange, goddammit. Oh, they're yellow. This is awesome! It's like the fog doesn't exist! Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so sad and, I mean, sudden. Huh. So that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it all right if I keep these? So show. Weird we'll bear. Stop here today. But I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me. Got it? Yeah. Let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. Fuck you. I've got a level three persona. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? You're right. Yeah, I agree. I promise to. 
Let's save Yukiko. All right. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. How many days do you think this is going to take? Either we're dying or we're saving her, right? There's no... I mean... I'm surprised we're taking a break right now, even. Hey. Would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power. And you're way better in a fight than either of us. You can say that again. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. What kind of dude says that to another dude? Like, not in like a power dynamic way, but just like, even if somebody is the leader of the group, you don't go, hey man, how about you make all the decisions on this thing that we're doing? That's fucking weird, right? I'm cool playing second banana. That That's not something you say. That's not something a human would say to another human. Uh, leave it to me. I got you. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? And we get it. We get it. You're not the protagonist. Jesus. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about that. Well, we only met a week ago, but you know what, Chie? I'm, I'm, I'm liking the cut of your jib. I'm with Yosuke, too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. What the fuck are you even saying, Teddy? Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge this right now. This fucking guy. You and Internet Historian should do an in the field on Twitch emotes. I don't know if it'd be funny, but it would be interesting to look through. I'm sure somebody's already done a video on that because Twitch emotes are so like cryptic if you don't know what they mean. I'm sure somebody's done it. You've been unanimously appointed team leader. Your days of pursuing this case alongside your friends have begun. Spicy. Oh, I got a card. The fuck is this? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou has established a new bond that brings you closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the fool arcana. Ooh, I can hit a motherfucker with the jukes now. Nice. You've established the investigation team social link of the fool arcana. You may earn an experience bonus when fusing personas of the fool arcana. Cool. Okay. Had a lot of fun with you today, Sumetra. I'm going to bed. Good night. Thanks for dropping by, AFP. Have a good night, man. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. After a few days of rain, fog may set in. Keep an eye on the weather while continuing to explore the TV world. Exploring the TV world will use up your after school or afternoon time. Yes, of course. You decided to return to Ju Junez and go home evening now oh a real dinner or is this still takeout that's all for world news tonight coming up next the local news hmm. dojima was quiet with a stern expression on his face oh i can see the takeout bag at the bottom actually hey mind if i ask something you aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? Um, I guess I shouldn't hint on that I know what's happening, right? I should just say, of course not. I kind of want to say it's nothing important because I, like, there's no chance I'd be able to explain to him what's happening. Especially not in front of the fucking kid. Of course not. No. I see. Well, it's just been nagging at me, that's all. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. Kids can sense the tense energy, you know. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you, so don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? Hi. And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west. Renzo, thanks for the fail sticker. Spring like weather will stay with us for a while longer. That's going to be sunny for a while. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Because when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. It works the other way, Nanako. Uh, 
she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. Just believe what you want to, kid. Santa's real. This girl decides the weather. Fuck it. Hey. Sorry about that. I killed the mood, didn't I? No, it's all good. Hey, young savvy boy. Cool. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there. 